Well, then let's get underway. All right, my lovely dears. Welcome back to another fantabulous and wind sighting session of Box in the North. We oh, enter really? with the Iron Grandma flying in from on high because I crit her initiative and she turned up straight the fuck away. Uh, and she is going to probably open with a spell. Uh... I'm gonna yoink a peek at your spell list there, uh, Saving, and just think what she'd probably have grabbed. Uh, clearly she should just have uh, Summon Greater Demon and uh, nope. Disintegrate. Mm, not quite to that, that degree, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Sphere Friend would feel... be a... Actually, Sphere Friend doesn't do much on... They don't do anything on stacks. Yeah. Are the gladiators stacks, or are they individual people? The gladiators are individual people. Okay. Yeah, you could huck a thingy bob up there. Yeah. Your friend's got like a uh, hundred. Let's range, see here. Know. I mean, she could flesh to stone someone. Oh well. <laughs> That's one way to go about it. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could do that. <laughs> She could also cast I Bite, which is fun. And what did Circle of Death do? Oh god. A sphere of negative energy ripples out in a 60 foot radius. Sphere from a point within range. Each creature in that area must make a constitution saving throw. They take 8d6 necrotic damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. At higher levels, the damage goes up 2d6 a pop. I don't know. I think trying to flesh to stone a, a gladiator himself as opposed to just dropping a sphere of some damage against all of them is going to be more useful. You agree? Yeah. I don't think yeah, I've ever rolled a flesh to good. stone ever. I did once against a, a hireling. Oh, poor oh. Monty. Oh, Monty. Monty, no! Alright. So, yeah. Uh, let's see here. So the range on it's like 60 feet. Alright, so she flies up to here, which was one of her other spell slots, and she gained a new one while she was, you know, channeling her way over here. You can see that she is holding a Rod of the Pack Keeper in one hand, and she's got nice. an open book in the other. Nice. And she, uh, yeah, is glistening with an ethereal light. The Sentinel spell is enwrapped around her. And yeah, all right, Gladiator Boy, how good are you at saves versus turning to fucking stone? Uh, I mean, they're not bad. They're not bad saves. Uh, let's see here. All right, he makes one save. Flesh to stone in this game is real mean. So you attempt to turn one creature you can see within range to stone. If they're made of flesh, they make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it's restrained as its flesh begins to harden. On a successful save, they aren't affected. They must make another con saving throw at the end of each turn. If it successfully saves three times, the spell ends. If it fails three times, they're turned to stone and sub subjected to the petrified condition. Well, so they, they don't to need to be three consecutive. Cons not consecutive. Oh, that's rough. That that's is rough. crazy. That is pretty mean. Uh, and yeah, if it is uh, physically broken while petrified, it suffers similar deformities when it, uh, if it ever reverts. If you maintain your concentration on spell for the entire possible duration, the creature is turned to stone until the effect is removed, which is permanent. So there we go. All right, so she's now trying to turn someone to stone. Uh, and at the start of uh, a different gladiator's turn, she blasts just like a fucking ray at that guy there and, and kills one. Blam! I and Granny go. Okay. Now the gladiators actually move up and try and do some work. They are in difficult terrain, so he's going to have to move only 15 to get out. And do these fuckos have anything ranged? Not that range. That's his turn. He has been slowed down by that. All right, Yarl's Wolf Pack 2. They're going to take a shot because, of course, they fucking is. Crossbows. Pew! And they kill a dude. 
the, one of these stacks is nearly dead. It's not bad. Marcus is up and will hold his turn. Local captain. Uh, all right, who wants to direct a baluster shot? Uh, I guess we should just try and finish off that guy. Yeah, that all right. sounds pretty good. Uh, and if he fucks it up, then I'll just... Uh... He missed. All right, at the end of his Crunch. turn, I will laser that guy. Sweet, he's dead, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, yeah. Let's see an attack. Yeah. Bzzzt. Frank, and I'm I'm gonna move them off into the token lair because it'll get a bit ridiculous. But we'll keep a count of everything that you murder before the uh, before all is said and done. <laughs> all right, and the crossing forces can actually fucking charge, guys. Get the fuck in there. I need to of course put an icon on her because she's flying. Uh, 40 feet up. <clears throat> Alright, and they're going to make an attack against the locals. You know, the local people. It's a local shop. Uh, interesting. Where are my attack numbers for them? One of these fucking... Is it literally the one I've just put in the GM layer has the uh, modifiers for them. Excellent. No, here we go. No. All right. They attack the Jarl pack and, sorry, no, the uh, local soldier pack and kill personal. Jeanette. Oh, no. Uh... You have bardic inspiration. Yeah, and last time I spent my entire turn reading aloud from my book. Yes, you did. Uh, I will now reveal what I wanted to do. Uh, my idea last week was to uh, use my book to draw, to uh, drag the Grand Wizard into the light of knowledge. You want to try and drive the Grand Wizard crazy? I'm, I'm going to show him the truth. It's pretty okay. great. My He's truth. really far away, so please describe to me how this happened. He can't even hear you from where he is. He's, like, very far away. I mean, well, you say you, that. Well, you see... He's uh, 130 feet away in the middle of an active battlefield. Yeah. But, um... A, the book doesn't care about that. It, you know... It comes from beyond, and B. Um, I, I did. I did include stuff for this. So um, he's going to start hearing like uh, Jeanette, as if she was standing right in front of him, talking to him. And uh, he'll look across the battlefield, and like everyone else will seem to kind of fade, and he can directly uh, see Jeanette. Um, as if she was standing right in front of him, uh, chanting from her book. She, and he feels uh, his mind being pulled by an outside force. And he directly knows that it's me doing this. Okay, sure. Uh, and it has a form of success. I'm going to make him make checks at the start of each of his terms to uh, keep his shit together. Although you have definitely made yourself into a priority target. I, 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 I told you I'd include a caveat. Mm-hmm. And Tam is going to pad over here and wait. Okay. Uh, uh, at the end of Jeanette's turn, I'm going to legendary action shoot this motherfucker with a laser. Sure. Uh, and also Aya will, so he'll take beams from both ends. Excellent. Just get reamed. Yep. Zap, zap. Two people drop dead. All right, local captain, Uju, where do you want him to shoot? Uh, this ballista on the right here. There's the one firing now. Yeah, keep shooting the priest. Yeah, take that priest. I mean, we could There's try priest. and start which priest? Wait. There's priests all over. Damage we could try priest. Try and start uh, taking down the elite forces since they provide like uh, buffs to the people around them. That's what I was saying. 
No, you said the priest. The elite forces. Actually oh, literally. Is, uh, there's forces. literally a, a stack that provides bonuses to everyone around them. I thought elite forces meant like, you know, priest gladiators, something like that. Never mind. No, no. The actual stack of elite forces. Oh, uh, well, make a decision. Uh, sure, we can go for the elite forces. All right. Someone roll me a d20. Someone other than me. That's it. And Blam, uh, an elite force member, is uh, blown away. Okay, speaking of elite forces, this group is going to move up. Uh, it's going to be over to here. And I think they're going to try and shoot at the Iron Granny because they don't know that her AC is immense right now. Uh, She's scurry. A 26 will actually hit. The Iron Granny takes damage. My god. She'll have oh, to no. make a concentration check. She's so okay without even any modifiers on it. Those bastards, they hurt Granny. They did hurt Granny. I mean, granny. it's just a 10. How dare they? Uh, I suppose I should. So about a visible blip. Yeah, they want to try and force her to make a concentration check so that guy doesn't turn to fucking stone. Uh, and these guys are going to join in the scrum over here, I suppose. And make an attack. Oh wait, that was meant to be two less. And it doesn't they don't get any damage in there. I'll be fucking damned. Alright, another gladiator! This one is also in fucking difficult terrain and uses his entire movement getting there. Cynthia, you're up. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna step forward just a tiny bit, and then we're going to attack this gladiator because my sneak attack damage is more useful on taking down single targets in stacks. I also have advantage because I have greater invisibility on me. Yep. Haha. <laughs> Technically speaking, I, I didn't. Am Iron Van. Technically speaking, I did it before they got here, so they don't even know. Nope. So that's about uh, 33 damage to that gladiator all the way up here. If 25 hits him. Uh, 25 hits. Uh, sorry, to which gladiator? That's a good name for your bow, though. This guy okay. up here? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's it's quite a violent blow. One second, I'm just trying to figure out how much damage the Iron Granny actually took. That's 68. Fine. She took 68 damage. Ow! Who? what? The Iron Granny took 68 damage when she got shot. Uh, but yeah, you uh, blitz this guy pretty fucking hard. Wow. And then afterwards, I will move back a little bit. Sure. All right, Captain Returner is going to spend all of his movement getting out that difficult terrain. Local soldiers are going to make an attack and hopefully fuck this guy up. No, no. mercenaries. Oh, yeah. Okay, these forces, they're going to attack Sunset. Is that an AC of 16 right now, if I remember correctly? Uh, they hit. Just barely. It takes 40 damage. Thank you. Saves me the trouble. Yep. Anna, you're up. I dislike that that granny's right there. Makes things a bit more difficult for me. She's 40 feet up in the air. Oh, she's 40 feet in the air. Okay. Which means I could fireball and not hurt, hurt her unless I put it right between the ground and the air. Yeah. 
Does that look okay? I think that looks okay. Mercenaries are ours, remember? Oh, they are? Yeah. Yeah, so let's move it up just like a tiny bit and you should be fine. Or over one. There we go. Okay. That should be fine. I'll actually get my, my character sheet. Uh... All right, black fucking tentacles. Uh, okay. Make three sets of saves. In fact, I'm not even going to bother for this like group that's on one health. They are dead. To the GM lay with them. All right. Uh, and what's your uh, DC? Uh, Anna's spell DC is 16. Um, uh, yeah, they all fail. Uh, so they're all going to lose a member because they were in spread formation. Although that one in front of the local soldiers is going to lose two because they were not. Because they got into a melee. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Tentacles spill out of the ground, and four men die in an instant. All right, you're a wolf pack. Uh, let's see here. People are gonna start dying if they don't like move up. Like that T Rex is going to get shot by everything, so they uh, stomp up to the fray. And I'm going to try and kill the stack, or you know, at least do some damage to it for them. And yeah, they hit and kill him. Bernie. Yay. Bernie. Uh, Bernie. Bernie Frankly. Sanders. Frankly, he couldn't give a shit less about the potential damage of black tentacles. Is going to stomp into the fray here. Uh, although he will make the check. Uh, and then I'm not even going to bother rolling. His attack is so high. In fact, I will, in case he gets a one. <laughs> All right, he misses. <laughs> Future. This wow. this is what happens when you put those kind of. Why would you say it's that? Happened, happened Why would you do that as well? to Benny of yeah. all um, people? Let's see here. Oh yeah, uh, three six, please, Kina. Delena, Delena, Delena. He takes nine. Um... Yeah, right. Elite forces are going to move up and fight this Yard Wolf pack. Miss, I'll be good, goddamned. Kazaran Corel uh, is going to skulk his way up here and shoot a pack with crossbow. I think he's got hand crossbows on hand. Let's double check. So he's actually got a sheet with weapons and stuff in it. Uh... Oh yeah, he has uh, uh, summon demon legendary. Legendary. Oh dear. Uh... Wow. All right. Plenty of blood. There's plenty of enemies to see to sacrifice. That might, uh, well, I mean, mm. all right. So he summons two d six dretches. So within sixty feet of the summoner, to summon them like right on top of Captain Four Returner. dretches. Ah. Uh... Two and two. A dretch is not not impressive, if I remember rightly. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, no, they're challenge quarter. <laughs> but you know what? In mass combat, four dretches is fine. 
let's make sure that not a single one of our enemies makes it back home. Yep. I'm just gonna use fucking imps or something. Here we go. A pack of four imps is just going to poof into existence here. Uh, now a baby stack. Okay, so. Uh, that was his turn. And the Grand Wizards go. He's going to try and make a fucking save against uh, having his wisdom sapped from him. He does not save. He loses a, a two points of wisdom. Nice. Here. And is going to use his movement. Uh, getting up there. But you know what? Uh, I need to see what the range on this spell is. Oh, it's not close enough. What about this one? No. Ah, oh. Is it so wrong to want to cast Banishment on someone? <laughs> uh. Uh, such a long way to go. All right, he just uses up all of his movement. Getting really close to banish me, eh? Mm hmm. Or something. All right, that gladiator has to make a save versus starting to turn to stone. Not this time, fucko. Although that was meant to be the end of his turn. Uh, he is going to try and skirt around the black tentacles. And it takes all of their movement to get up in the face of these mercenaries here. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Funnel them into the line of the towers, fire beams. Oh my god, guys. What? Uh, banishment. When you banish someone, you, they, it literally makes a faint popping noise and they disappear. <laughs> That's amazing. Yep. It is very cartoony and very funny. <laughs> It's great. I adore it. It's really amazing if it's used on someone who doesn't belong to this plane of existence. Yeah, uh, they just return to their home plane. Mm -hmm. If you manage to keep the spell constant without being disrupted, of course. Yeah, that gladiator moves up and they start slowing down as they arrive, getting all crunchy and stuff. Sirsha! Sirsha! Yeah, I'm Sirsha! You are. Yay! Uh, Sirsha calls sorry, sorry. a lightning storm. A large oh, so storm a appears day. above. It's what? Well, uh, it says wisdom safe. I believe it's meant to be dex, but um. Oh, I, I target, yeah, targets I before literally... rolls, please. Yeah. Um. Sorry, it was uh, uh, the Captain Returner. He's going to get a lightning bolt to the face. And I sorry? The Captain Returner. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, it is with an entrepreneur. Why? Sure. Okay. All right, Mr. Returner. You're so extra quiet today, Stray. What? No, he's not. He just mumbled Captain Returner the first time. I did. I did do that. And uh, now he I passes. But, so he will take 12. Ow. Can't figure out where the thing is for the save on this. God damn it. Uh, allow me. Because uh, it's not in there. Oh, wait. Uh, indeed, you've got saving throw set to none down here in Call Lightning section. And now what happens if it is clicked? Damn. Okay, there we go. Cool tapes.
Okay. Uh, crossing forcing forces. Uh, don't give a shit about the Uh They're going to fight the dretches, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I just realized. I can set the wind in a oh, big area around me. It's going, uh, it's going uh, north. Sure. Uh, they hit a dretch. And Everyone dretch. take a wicked fart. It'll be great. Yeah. Kind of the point. All right, priests, move up. Kind of. And one of them is going to cast Healing Word, I think, on the Grand Wizard, and one on the Grand Returner afterwards. He will have to move into yeah, difficult sure. terrain. Uh, let's see, how good are these fucking priests? Not great. <gasps> Wait, they have the best spell! Why are they bothering healing? Sorry, no, they're both going to just fire Guiding Bolt. <laughs> 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 uh, guiding Bolt is amazing. Like, what it's am a, I, crazy? Really they have Guiding Bolt down bow. One spell. This is literally what they're here for. Uh, and it's got a 120 foot range. Uh, and you know what? There's that fairy who's blasting lightning at the Captain Returner. So uh, oh. the first Guiding Bolt is going to be made against uh, Saoirse. And then the second one is going to be made at advantage. Oh no, they're all chaining oh, Guiding sure. Bolts. That's Why? right, fuckers. I mean, it might they're using their strategy against a stray. Oh. 17 to hit yeah. Saoirse? Uh, I think that'll hit. Um, yeah. Okay, and then also... Concentration uh, check. 19 against Sirisha. Uh So yeah, I'll need uh, two concentration checks, and let's Yay. find out what the damage is. 46. 46? Isn't concentration... What is that? My spellcasting thing? Mm. Uh, uh, it's a con save. DC 10. Oh. Shouldn't you do another oh. 46 as well? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I hate okay. you people. So, you take 31 damage, and your spell ends. I can't see yet. Shirsha's health bar. Okay. She's quite injured. Mm. Oh wait, you're inside the battlements. That attack was meant to be made at disadvantage. One yeah. Second. So that first one that might not good. hit. Uh, no, it okay, does yeah. anyways. Anyway, uh, and that second wouldn't have been made with advantage, but I rolled 13 twice. <laughs> okay, Viv. Alright. So I see this cluster of... Six people over here. <laughs> Uh, what, sorry? Six people over here, all within 20 feet of my fireball, fireball. here. Okay, let's see the roll. I will we'll, uh, do their fucking saves. I'm gonna go in the order. Gladiator, Priest, Soldier, Returner, Grand Wizard, Forces. Gladiator will succeed. Priest will not, and they die immediately. 40! Forces lose a person. Returner fails and takes 30. Look at me rolling above average for once, guys. Uh, Gladiators, do you have evade? Nope. No, you have the fortitude version. Uh, so they will take 15. Uh, the Grand Wizard also fucking fails. And the forces pass. They... Only, uh, I they rolled still five above average, guys. Yeah, never roll for a fireball. I never yeah. roll above average on Viv spells. That was a big, big blast. But, That's my right. little five spell slot. <laughs> and an action from uh, Sunset? Yes. Uh... Shift over one, and then... You can't. You're already sharing a square with the thing. Okay, fair enough. Then it's just gonna be the bite. Okay. I'm gonna open up the thing. Uh, 
There's there's sunset. It's all lost. <laughs> Got to be a whopping AC sixteen, and you do immediately. It will undo. <laughs> Eat them. Yep. Gulp, gulp, crunch, crunch, swallow, spit metal. Right, local soldiers with a rallying war cry of uh, protect grandma. Yeah. Uh, Plus they have a buff from love Benny, don't they? They do indeed. Uh, that is meant to be 15 to hit, but that's not actually enough. Oh, sad news. Titian is up. All right. You've got issue, don't you? Yep. Titian, my All boy. Right. What are you up to these days? How much heal has he got? Because Gram Gram's on 54 out of, like, 120. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now Titian's only a level higher than the party, so it's not feeling too overpowered anymore. Titian no. will come up and, uh... He will grab him some G-Milf ass for 50 hit points. Can he grab nice. G-Milf okay. ass 40 feet off the ground? No. Okay. Then why were you asking me? Because you might have had a ranged ability. I haven't looked at Titian's sheet since you built him up. Uh, Paladins don't it. actually get any ranged healing. Wait, he has Misty Step. What's the range on that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like 30 foot. So what we're going to do... Is we're Tish going to jump to on the back of Benny, cast Misty Step up to Grandma, smack that ass, and then fall back onto Benny. Nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's get a Dex check just to see if you aren't like on the ground when you make, when you return. But otherwise, yeah, sure. All right. Because you know Titian's a badass ancient elf. This is what he did. Yes. Yeah. All right. Dex check. I mean, yeah, she's younger than him by like a lot. Alright, so he's gonna be stumbled his next attack that he makes is disadvantaged. All right. Otherwise, yeah, that was totally reasonable. <laughs> Very nice. All right. Astra. Astra has some poisoned arrows and she sees a couple of real bastards here. Yep. Real bastards, you say. Yep. Uh, so she is going to draw her bow back and let loose. Let's go for the Grand Wizard. He seems a little bit more dangerous still at this range. Maybe. So, pew! Uh, let's see here. Call leader. Yes! His breastplate does little against 20. Uh, and can I see the poison? Uh, yes, it is Serpent Venom. Let me grab it real quick. No, con saves, not a specialty. Uh, let me go look Unless up. I crit. I mean, that'll certainly help. That will, that will certainly help. Let's see, where is poison in here? Is that the GM section? Uh... Sorry, I should have had this up ahead of time. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. Serpent Venom. Here we go. Poisons. Uh, he takes half of 3d6, so... Yep, give it a go. Alright. R 3d6. No, you should make that like a link in her sheet somewhere. Alright, he takes... Alright. Nine damage overall. Ow. And then we got some more shots coming. Yep. Pew! That's another hit. Alright, and he can make another save versus 3d6. I could, unless it... Oh, goodness. Uh, he is taking a lot of fucking damage. Uh, chat, this is not her 76 weapon poison. This is the weaker poison. Uh, also, I will level with you. You can't weapon poison the the lightsaber. Yes, I I expected that. That's why she's put it on the longbow arrows. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Uh, speaking of which, I think she's gonna action surge and try and finish this fucker. So here we go. A couple more longbow shots. Bitchu. God damn it. Poison! Wow. You were so expensive and you're so bad. 
Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> Shit, if you can do enough damage to him before his turn rolls around, you'll be able to drop him. Alright, and one more shot. Uh, let's see here. Well, at least I fucking hit every time. That's nice. There we go, that's the stuff I paid for. Uh-oh. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, better make that fucking save, buddy. No. Uh... He's dropped a negative three. He goes down. Yes. Alright, guys. We've, took, I've... we've taken out one of the bosses. Astro the last whooping Well, you've unconscious one of the bosses yeah, in the this fight. Unconscious, yeah. The last horse has crossed the finish line. I finally have a smartphone. And now I'm going to peel off the plastic from the cover. Woo! Oh, yeah. Welcome to no, the No, that's... Uh, peeling off the plastic from, uh... Like... Uh, the cover of stuff is just the best feeling in the world. And it is. I'm gonna, it's great. I, I'm gonna savor this. Do you have a new screen protector put on it afterward? Do it slower. I do, yeah. Oh, I will can add this. I will. Uh, twenty to hit. That's gonna be forty damage to sunset. So I'll just take that for you. Nope. Oof. Thank you. All right, this forces group. Uh, let's see here. I guess they're gonna go attack Benny. And hit. And he will take... Uh, my brain. 36. He'll take half Wait, no, he's got, he's got, yeah, he's got, yeah. Crunch. Alright. Your old Bullgruff. Bully boy. I think it's time to Bully! To, to join the fucking wolf pack. I can't bother to change his icon, but he shifts up into hybrid so he can get up there a bit faster. Uh, and is going to let out a terrifying roar. Uh, in the interest of brevity, it's just going to give everything around him, you know, negate the elite forces bonus to everything. So nice. I'm going to... They cancel each other out, so they fuck it. Bully, a challenge. I love competition. Yep. Theory. All right. Well, Bully's moved up, so... Speaking of last horse crossing the finish line. Yeah, really. Uh, I can still use my legendary actions for the fortress when I'm not in the fortress, right? Uh, Yes, as long as you're within a, like, a reasonable amount of range. Okay. So, Probably like 200 feet. Yeah, that's fine. I don't intend to go very far away. Uh, so, Theory is going to hop on her broom and uh, skateboard down here. Join Mini-Me. And, let's see, we're still in range here for the Jarl. Yep, I can heal him if need be. I'm going to give poor Sunset here some hit points, because, oh boy. Yay. Actually, wait. How is Sirius still hurt? Oh yeah. I oh yeah. She's on uh, like twenty out of fifty. Okay. I I can. And I can there's going to be advantage on the next attack against her, and two more priests coming after you. Right. Okay. Don't worry. I got this, guys. So I'm gonna heal Sunset for forty-six. So have fifteen because I can't roll d6s. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Ooh. Theory is going to look around, see that poor Circe is very badly hurt, and now ha Astra has pumped some bullets into the Grand Wizard, and everyone's kind of looking angrily at her. So she will just close her eyes really tight and whimper a little bit, and then thrust out her hands and cast Darkness! Nice. <laughs> her That's tiefling wow. racial spell that she's yes, never that fucking say, used. Yes. Okay. I've never used it either! Where are you placing it? I'm placing it on top of us. <laughs> nice. It's it's going to be a uh, an area focused like around here. You are you are effectively like inside a building, so it's going to be inside that squadrant of <laughs> three people that you are in the second level of this tower. It doesn't extend outside. Right. That's fine. I just want to cover the lot of us, and then yeah, as long as it's not affecting the local captain there, that's fine. No, he's a, a floor above you. He's right. on the roof. So yeah, I will fly in. Heal, darkness, and then Theory will just sit there whimpering. Oh, 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 oh it's scary to pop up. 
Yeah, it's really it's right. amazing that you actually did that instead of like not having a will save to not do it. No, nope, okay. no, nope, must protect chillins. All right, yeah. Uh, the priests cannot guiding bolt a target they can't see, even if they have guiding on them. Unfortunate for them. Yep. Uh, instead, I guess I get to do another two. Oh, I'm glad it's both priests get to go in a row both times. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that was so delicious. Uh, well, to be fair, now one of them did get explode murdered uh, really hard. Now, don't give us ideas for an all cleric next party. That way, we can just guiding bolt everything. We should. I really do want to play a group of just all whole, like all divine classes, like all, all a party of all priests of all like clerics and paladins. I'd be so pretty, down for that. It would be pretty yeah. interesting. Yeah, that'd be a fun time. There's enough, anyway. there's enough like variety in the cleric that you could just have a whole entire party of all clerics. And all those different like orders that you can paladin up in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first priest is going to target. Uh, let's go with the Jarl, I suppose. Makes sense. 24 to hit the Jarl, which uh, pretty sure will. Yep. For 10. Ow. Uh, and then the next one is an advantage. You leave him alone, you bastards. And hits. Ow. And then it's the Adamant Warforged's turn. Uh, they are going to, you know, I believe that your request was that they move up and fuck shit up? Uh, yes. Okay, you have their sheet for the rolls. Yep. But it looks like the monk is going to key dash to get, like, up here and try and coup de gras that Grand Wizard before it's too late. Good choice. Uh, so make an attack. It's got advantage. All right, this is the monk. So she does flurry of blows, or a uh, stave. She's got a stave, I believe. She can flurry of blows if she needs to. Wait, no, she did a key dash. So I don't think she can double those both up, can she? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So yeah, she will just use her staff and. Yep, it is an advantage. Uh, yep, that's two failed saves. Right. Need one of the other four to just throw something at him <laughs> and hit. Uh, let's see here. The uh, adamant ballista. Uh, would you like the adamant ballista fired at the Grand Wizard? Oh God. Uh, it, I mean, the other, the other, the other Warforged around. might have weapons that are ranged. Uh, let's see their loadouts. They I have a myself. knife. And I uh, think the oh guy yeah, with the knife. fucking stealthy knife boy is a. Maybe he can reach. Uh, you can go up 40, and what's the double range on a knife? Uh, I think it's like 60? Oh, yeah, he's plus. 5 out. Oh. He's 5 out, he can't reach. Alright, so... Wait, he has a crossbow, or someone has a crossbow in here. Uh, That would be this fella here. He has a crossbow. Alright, so we're going to throw a dagger at uh, this group of fuckboys. Yeah, sure, I'll make a swing. So... Uh, he's got advantage, which will cancel out the disadvantage, so it's a normal attack. And yeah, that's that's immediately gonna kill a guy. <laughs> and then yeah, all right, crossbow, hand crossbow, boy, do stuff. I believe in you. Oh, wait, was it the hand crossbow? That is in fact on this guy. He can do both attacks though. So yeah, fire hand crossbow at wizard. Oh, so the hand crossbow is on the assassin dude. I thought it was a full sized crossbow. No. No, there... if it's a hand crossbow, it is on assassin boy. Yeah, he can he can do it. Okay, then yeah, he will. In fact, shoot at that guy. Uh, yep. Give it a go. Good luck, dude. Oh, yes. Two good rolls. Yep. yep. Thank you. Two good rolls. It is enough. His AC was 18. He would have had a higher AC if he were conscious. It's fucking punk. He bitch. is killed. And DED good dead. Good thing Theory isn't around to see that because she'd be very upset about people dying. Would she? This guy was the most racist racist. That's I'm actually curious. That's just, like, the delicious thing to redeem, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Like, that's that's her whole thing, is Theo doesn't like people dying. Damn it, I had evil. fucking banishments and flame strikes on that fucker. You, not anymore, you don't, bitch. <laughs> Alright. Not All right, He so is dead, what's... dead. No one can pick him up. What's this guy got? Because guess what? Those priests, they didn't have healing word. They only had cure light wounds. So when they moved up to do those guiding bolts, they moved a whole 15 foot and couldn't get close enough to heal him. 
Uh, all right, sorry. Yes, you have a uh, soldier guy here. Uh, What's he, he got can... for a weapon? Uh, sword? He has a sword, yeah. All right, well, he has I guess it's bonus. time to go move up. Uh, he can probably over this into this. Guy and attack it. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, so... let's see a sword attack. Foo. Oh, it's a good advantage. This guy is restrained because he's turning to stone. Yep. Uh, let's see the damage. He is not avoiding that. <laughs> oh, only 11. But it hits. All right, that's not, a, that's not a stack. And last but not least, Nightboy is going to continue to just be ordered to protect the Jarl. So double move up there. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And yeah, it's Ballista Boy who is... He's the wizard, right? Uh, Ballista Boy is not the wizard. Ballista oh. Boy is Soldier Kid up here. Uh, he has got a hand crossbow and a sword himself. His AC right. slightly like that. Which, oh, the wizard is here. Okay, excellent. Yep. Uh, he has then... actual spells. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure demons are immune to fire, so... Uh, let me check for dredges. Uh, immunities... No, he has resistances. Uh, and they're a stack, though, so they will lose a person if you fight. Alright, let me rephrase that. I don't give a shit about demons. There you go. So, That's yeah, Wizboy is going to just huck a uh, a bomb up here so that it does not hit El Munko, but it will hit all these fuckers, including the cat. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six fucking saves again. Hold on. Uh, it'll also hit this gladiator back there. Oh, seven saves. Yeah, none of, none of the friendlies. Although his will be at advantage, I believe. That's fine. Foyable and yeah, let's just drop that at level three. All right, so that gladiator, uh, I'm just gonna say, is fine because he had advantage and crit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Twelve becomes fourteen. Is it only a DC twelve save? That's unfortunate. Um, I mean, yeah, these guys do have shit for wisdom and yeah, no challenge it's... rating. Oh, uh, there is actually then a number that I'm supposed to, to see here if there's a universal modifier for. Uh, if you just put in their challenge rating. Oh, yeah, look, he's got a uh, magic caster level is set to 7, so that should have made those DCs a lot higher. Yeah. You have to put the CR in to make that work. So if you just put in 7 for the CR, then it should recalculate. I'm just going to press the button again. Yeah, yeah, let's see. There you go. <laughs> All right. I mean, it, okay. it doesn't matter, but for future reference. Uh, every single thing except for the crit fail saved. Yep. Uh, however, the ones that saved and were in melee combat as forces still lose a person because they're close combat now. You lose a person. You lose a person. You lose a person. You have evasion. Tretch is in melee and they failed anyway, so they lose two. Well. <laughs> oh, there's only one little dretch left. <laughs> not, not even upset. And lastly, uh, Ballista oh, Golem man. is going to shoot at the Captain Returner. Okie dokie. Pew! Ten fucking hits. Ow. Crunch. Alright, crossing forces. They're going to move up. And fight that golem. Oh no, my precious golems. Yep. Let's see here. The Grand Wizard is not giving them an aura bonus, and the Elite Forces one was cancelled out, so it is a measly six version. And it is for. Yeah, these golems like take so long to repair, percent. don't they? Uh, they do take a long time to heal. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, All right, 16 to hit that uh, monk. I don't think is gonna happen. Uh, let's see. All the the AC, all of them have AC 18. Yep. yep, every single one of them is made of adamantine, and so has an 18 AC. Uh -huh. All right, Aya. Uh, she will uh, blow Tishna a little kiss. Oh my. Uh, and you know what? While she's concentrating on, you know turning a guy to stone it's not an action to concentrate on it so she's just going to you know 
blast some death with her other free spell slot. And... You know what? I guess Circle of Death isn't too bad of an idea, is it? It's not a concentrate. <laughs> no, it is an instantaneous. Uh, wow, and she casts those at seventh, even though she only has six slots. That's very good. That's because she's all powered up, right? She is juiced. So it's just fucking 10d6. And what's the radius on this fucko here? It's a big one. It's like 40. 60 stars. foot? Yeah, it's enormous. So all right. everybody who is north of these fuckboys gets wrecked. Or hell, actually... Uh, what kind of damage does that do? Is that it's necrotic, necrotic or poison? Ten, it's going to be 10d6 necrotic. Ah, I wish my Warforged were uh, immune to necrotic. But they are not. Uh, let's see here. Circle of Death. See, I guess just fuck everybody up north of the Warforged, or could she angle it so that... Yeah, she could she angle can, it here. She could plant it in the water. Uh, Rip all the fishies. Ooh, okay. She can't... I mean, I guess she could technically place it and not rip the fit. Oh, I don't know. All right, so there's a hidden thing that's going to happen when she does this, but you're right, she would have no idea. First, I'm just going to roll the fucking 40 on a 10d6. That ain't bad. Oh no, there's the there's mer people under th There's something in the water. <laughs> there's a great beast in the water. Oh god. Is there a monster in the water, or there's some innocent people in the water? Just a bunch of aquatic elves who are sitting there like in, uh, fucking... Hey, look, we both the Civil War, it. just watching yes. the battle, and then just get disintegrated. Little calm A, little calm B. Minus four. Dead. <laughs> uh, Poor little dretches. Yeah, I mean, they did they take, like, two stack hits and then got killed by their allies. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, that's yeah, what they get for being demons. Yep. Says yeah, the party harsh. that's, like, half tiefling. Half tiefling. All right, so, come on, Captain Man. You have, like, a really decent fortitude save. <laughs> you flushed <laughs> it completely. <laughs> also, 40 damage for you. Captain uh, Man... Twice he's taken full forty damage. Mm. Uh, all right, gladiators, uh, identical. You're fucked. Uh, the priests. Uh, you can only catch three of those. Uh, all of them die. Nice. Also, that ended. Dead, 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 dead. However. As her turn ends. Wow, that really did a lot. It did. I rolled 40 on it. Fucking it baller grandma. Terrifying but... granny powers. But... <laughs> terrifying granny powers. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry! Oops. Oops. However, they could not see the target who hit them, and don't know if you're the ones to blame. Nope. But you have accelerated a thing that was going to happen. Oh my all god, right. I've got so many tabs. Even when I'm trying to like not have lots of things minimized all over the screen, it's still so many things. Uh, let's see here. GM layer and to the not not you're not a drawing to the token layer with you. Oh no! Don't worry, she wasn't in range of the, the blast. Oh, thank goodness. She would have probably died. <laughs> wait, is that, wait, is that our friend one? That is the one that you saved from Water Godlands. <gasps> and oh. the one who uh, I'm going to go and have tea once I have gills. It's true. When I you have gills, you can go for an underwater swim. Yeah, she is uh, a water spirit. Not actually an aquatic fae. Uh... <sighs> And in a sing-song voice, asks uh, if you guys would like a hand. Yes, please. Why not? Hi. Searsha waves oh. a hand. She's in the darkness. She doesn't. Yeah, it's yeah, all all Searsha can hear oh, yeah. is just theory screaming now. <laughs> Crying little little puppo tears. <laughs> yup. Uh, however, the tower has an has a, your sorry your fortress has a, a range, and you have essentially got 
like a sonar of of targets that you can do. So you're, mm -hmm. you're not denied your legendaries, but oh she God. also only might just register to you as a target in the water. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to be shooting anybody in the water because I didn't see any enemies there. So just okay. work with what I had before. Speaking uh, of which, I will look I a will little bit mortified. Laser uh, this guy back there. Sure, let's see an attack. Alright, uh, Fortress Admin, Fire Ray, Pew. Black. I'm rolling really well today, guys. You are rolling compared to... I expected you guys to suck a little bit harder than this. Yeah, compared to yesterday, where I just D6s. could not roll above a 6. Jesus Christ. I finally rolled above average on a spell with Amazing. a lot of dice. Alright, let's see here. This gladiator is looking real hurt. Uh, and he still can't kill anyone important. He's, this dude has gotten an absolute shit blistering. So he's going to move his movement up into here. Oh, no, he can get into the wolf pack. Or yes. he can get to sunset the dra Actually, yeah, let's fight the dra the T-Rex. The yeah, step Sunset's into my office, here. bitch. Yeah. Fluff it. Fluff it hard. Fluff it. Okay. Uh, three melee attack. There's a rule with plus seven. Uh, miss hit hit. Yeah. And let's see here. And that was two handed, so 2d8 plus four twice. 21 damage on sunset. Stab, stab. And then he gets a laser to the face. Okay, go ahead. And misses. Hooray! Fuck. It finally happened. Actually, you I mentioned it myself. out loud. Yeah. It was your first mistake. However, you know, Aya also has laser beams back. Uh, and she does not appreciate that person who blasted her before with a shit ton of crossbow bolts. Uh, that being the elite forces. Although she might use the sentinel spells like, you know, escape maneuver. Uh, yeah, she's going to use the emergency maneuver and get the fuck away from those guys so they don't do that to her again. I feel like she's made herself into a bit of a target. <laughs> a little bit. All right. Yarl Wolfpack. Uh, let's get up into this. Oh, this guy's turning slowly to stone, but fuck it. Whatever. Fuck this guy. <laughs> just two turnies list. Yeah. I like how we've made like a line going this way. Uh, yeah. That's just ha keeping the enemies just oh, so they are just Jesus. within firing range of the laser tower. <laughs> yep. Very nice. Alright, Marcus. Finally, I can get just a little bit in on the action here. Excuse me, friends, I'm going to be stamping my way over here and smashing this man over the head with a very large club. Let God, us it sounds find... just like him. Find <laughs> uh... I try my best. I know it's not a, not a spot on Marcus, but... It's a real it's good close Marcus. close enough. Uh, let's see here. Okay. I would be proud either way. Uh, 25. Yeah, he's going to hit the Gladiator for 3d8. <laughs> 17. Smash right in the fucking noggin. Uh, and if it went for the fact that he will... Rest oh, wait. You know what? Let's crit fish. I don't crit fish. Okay. But he's still hit. Crunch. Look, El Capitan. Pick a target. Uh, I think these captains should probably both just focus on the captain returner. Just kill the last enemy leader. Sure thing. Uh-huh. That ain't gonna hit. And again, that ain't gonna hit. Oh. No, he's quite hard to hit with full-sized baluster. Wait, why did I roll the other one? Oh, fuck it, whatever. Uh, Jeanette. No, okay. In the middle of doing a commission, you jerk. Um, where? Okay, my movement is huge, huge. Um, what is this thing again? This purple 
Uh, black tentacles. Uh, okay. Anna. Uh, okay. Well, um, the closest baddies are in the tentacles. So she's going to move. He's going to move over here and then bite the crossing forces. Well, no, actually what he's going to do is he's going to move like right here and uh, angle his flame breath this way. Uh, there are like 10 dudes piled up there. You cannot share that space, even temporarily. Uh, there are, you cannot scram um, yourself into a, into a stack. Sorry. Wait, how long is this? How long will this go? No, that'll hit Benny. And there's a uh, solid building. Uh, okay, so apparently I can't move into any of that because no, you okay. can get like you can squinch into here. There's space. I uh, yep, yeah, but that's a double move, so that's that. And I mean, the shield wall is looking real fucking good now. Yeah, no kidding. All right, and Jeanette's going to. Uh, actually. No one needs no one need healing right now, right? Correct. All right. I think. I mean, your daughter could yeah. use healing, but You're... she's also unseeable right now. Yeah, and in the building that I can't get that you can't so. reach. Yeah. So, um, I would actually like can uh is can you hold action? Hold off a turn. You can ready an action. Okay. Um. What the what the delaying rules in five e seven? So you take an action to delay, and then uh, you can use your reaction to take whatever action you had prepared. Uh, note okay. that you cannot concentrate on a spell uh, while readying. Ah, and I believe you've got greater invisibility held up right now. I don't have greater invisibility. Oh no, that was Sirsha, and that got ended, so also your are in invisible. What? No, it? that is Wait, from you... Viv, that has greater oh. yeah. I oh, can't twin. Okay. That's right. Were you concentrating on something? I so was broke. Is broke. Bark skin. Right. Oh yeah, bark skin. Got I don't have bark skin, skin guys. Searsha. No, we were Searsha like, what? Had it. Skin. Yeah, we were wondering what thing Searsha. It, it's out. Okay. Yeah, and that popped. Yeah. Like, don't forget, you got bardic. All right. So I don't think I can. Actually, this gladiator needs to make a deck save again. He can't. He's restrained. You can just blast him for free. <laughs> Takes eighteen acid damage. Splash! <laughs> Makes a nice meaty brush noise against his face. Uh, and also, give me a moment, I need to resort this. Alright, War Cleric uh, is just. I'll be right back. Pop a heal up at Ire, I think. Way to go! Way to, way to fucking go! War cleric, you really did the thing. There's a reason they're war clerics, so not healers. All right, elite forces. Uh, they're going to ruck their way around here as a double move to get out of that fucking tentacle party. Captain already did a shot; it didn't hit. Crossing forces uh, can't do anything about being in the tentacle party, but luckily is a stack and won't take dot damage. Let's see here. Forces or Benny? 1d2. Really? They're going to waste their turn hitting Benny. Okay. And never mind, they're going to crit. Poor Benny! <laughs> Benny, no! I mean, it takes 28 damage from that. Not a big deal. Uh, and it takes even less. He's a beefy, beefy boy. The gladiator over here that wasn't fucking being turned to stone approaches the elite forces and in fact, it's enough to get on the wolf pack. Gladiator is gonna fucking try and spear this guy three times. Uh, hit, hit, crit. All right. 
Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Uh, hit miss. Correct. Stab, stab, stab. Spear, spear, spear. And, Cynthia, before you go... Ah. Oh. Bloop! Aquatic Elf Lancers. Yep. They are going to surge up to the bridge. All is um, more. Yep. Uh, grappling hooks are thrown up, and they clamber onto the bridge. Oh. Cynthia. Surfaces. Okay. So, let's, first off, move up just a tiny bit. And uh, I like taking guys out. I like to take out the Captain Returner. Let's take out the Captain sure. Returner. You hit him, and he takes 25. You're so close. Oh, that wasn't enough? The magic pixel! No. Oh, Two health. freaking ticket. Ah, uh, fine. Now move back down. Darn. So, so close. close. So yeah. close. Now it's his turn. Not quite. Oh. Is it, there's something else? Bloop! Oh, there's more Lancers. Now All it's right. his turn. Yeah, now it is his turn. Uh, and I feel like he needs to do some emergency business, by which I mean... Let's see here. Uh... Can't use that. You can't use that. Can't use that. Don't have any of these. Probably going to die. He is going to run from the battle. Or attempt to. He gets a whole 60 foot. Hey, guess who has a really, really great range? Yep. All right. Local soldiers, emboldened by their impending victory over these fuckos. Uh, can't actually reach anything. Mercenaries, they're going to take a swing. 24 to hit. And that means that they get to... do 30 damage to the restrained uh, gladiator. Anna! Ah, skip, bitty skip, bitty skip, skip. I can't get within range of anyone to stab anybody. But what I can do... Is stop any enemies from escaping this battle. Mm hmm. Just in range, Captain Returner. Okay. He uh, is not in a 120 foot range of you. Yes, he is. He's, that's 155. That's mine. That's oh, that's with counting. Me. Okay. He's still in my range, arrow, too. Like, that's not how that worked. But yeah, okay. Exactly. All right, cool. Uh, bleh. Just going to knock him down. He's still in yeah. my range, though. He's, in, he's unconscious, I think. Correct. Boop. Okay. Isn't this exciting? Sure that? Is Look at all these people. This is so cool. Squeak. All right, let's see here. The wolf pack is actually having a hard time against that gladiator, uh, and there are elite forces, and generally stacks prefer to fight stacks, so... They fuck up more stack members. And then those elite forces attempt to do the same. <laughs> that wolf pack has taken some damage. Bernie! Uh, 3d6, please, uh, Kina. Hmm? Take what? 3d6, please, Kino. Uh, Benny's in your uh, tentacles. Alright. He's not super so weird. He's being gently caressed by the tentacles. Wait a little ball of damage. Hey, that was against Benny, though, so... Exactly, that was in sarcasm. 21! Crunch, he just swipes the guy's head off, like, immediately. Uh, and it's going to roar and intimidate all of them. 17. It's probably going to spook him. 
yeah, they they both pee their little panty pants. Hmm. All right, and these lancers climb up. Tazaran Karel sees that the battle is going pretty well, but he's going to take a parting shot before he buggers off. Uh, ooh. Let's go with multi attack, and he's going to go horn charge and deep blade a thing. So he's going to barge his way past this guy and push him a step aside and try and smash up some elite forces. Uh, hit, miss, hit. And then he's just going to use his movement to bugger off back out that space again. All right. Grand Wizard is D-E-D. -E this gladiator uh, is basically dead, but he might be a statue before then. Uh, he continues to statuify one more, and he becomes a permanent fixture. Sersha. Who's in a cloud of darkness. Yep. Does she fall asleep? <laughs> Sleepy. Like Last night time, I'm going to bed now. Yeah, hooding a parrot. Yum, 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 yum. Doesn't she have narcolepsy she's too? No, she's just a heavy sleeper. Oh, that's what it yeah, is. When, when she goes to sleep, it's, it's sleepy. It's possible to wake her up. All right, I believe Stray is busy right now. Anyway. Sorry. Viv. All right. Step up, and before I forget, Bardic Inspiration on the Jarl. Pardon? Uh, bar before I forget, Bardic Inspiration on the Jarl. Sure thing. Range is 60. And, uh... Perfect. Hmm? Right here is going to get a shatter. Where is right here? Sorry. I put an X. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the range on a shatter? 60, but I can double that. <laughs> I mean the radius, because I'm pretty sure oh, the radius... 10. 10. Okay. It's small. Yeah. Gladiator, elite forces, can't hit that guy. It hits that guy. All right. Uh, succeed, miss, succeed. Oh, no, that hasn't got their modifiers in it. They all pass. Good for them. Uh, oh, well. They all take half of whatever the damage is. 11. <laughs> wow. The Look elite at me group rolling near max. It's a clump, so they lose a guy. The elite group is a clump, they lose a guy. The gladiator takes damage. There we go. Yep. Crossing forces, uh, that is two guys, they're going to break. Uh, in fact, they would like to, but as they come up... Oh, no, no, no one's got actions for it. Yep, they run. Local soldiers! I'm back, yeah! I'm Hello, back. Boo! Boo! They're gonna kill this guy. Tishin's what, guy! What's your should do? Uh, nothing. She's in the darkness. She's just having herself a little seance. Uh, can I just spend a spell slot so she can, like, boop herself on the nose and heal? Yeah, of course. Go for it. Just, just a small heal, but, you know. Yeah, a little. I'm going to cast it. I'm going to cast it at three. Boop her own snoot. Don't. All right. Uh, no, let's see. One. Better than nothing. It's true. All right. Titian is going to just start cleaving into the crossing forces in front of him since no one near him is critically injured. At least not yep. on our side. No, I mean, Benny is down to a hundred-something hit points. Oh, no. Oh, God, Benny. Oh, no. 
Uh, so yeah, he's just going to bring out the old uh, giant fucking hammer. Yep. Uh, kill miss. All right. And yeah, that's that's his his go. Sure. Astra is in perfect darkness. All right. In perfect darkness. The heart of darkness. Uh, she is going to hop on Mumsy's broom and uh, hold an action to shoot some enemies when she gets out of the darkness. Okay. Crossing forces. They are confronted by bad news bears. Yeah, there are five of them, and the battle is turning. Uh, they're going to try and disengage the poor bastards. Uh, these ones can't disengage safely. They're going to try and fight the poor bastards. They fail. Yell Bulgruff didn't like getting blasted by guiding bolts. Is going to stomp up to this gladiator and try and turn his head inside out. You get him, honey. Uh, and let's see here. He's going to do a multi-attack, but he's going to make one of his attacks a Colossal Smash. He's so. got Bardic if he needs it. Yep. Uh, he fails with the first attack. It's fine because a Colossal Smash is not made with this weapon, which he like effectively throws at that gla gladiator. He stomps into this space like right here. He rolled a two and a one. Yeah. And everything in an AoE takes 17 damage. 17 on that. Kills a guy there. And kills a guy there. Crunch. Well, fuck, I've dropped my hammer. Three. All right, so Theory will finally shake herself out of uh, the torpor of darkness, and she and Ash are going to go on an adventure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush out of the darkness. <gasps> oh, oh, fuck. That's scary. Oh, my God, what are oh, elves right. doing here? <laughs> and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can just get here. Theory will swoop down to the elves with like her hands up and see that a bunch of them are injured and say, "You brought Astra with you?" Yeah, I'm bringing Astra. Okay. And yeah, she's gonna ask, uh, "Oh gosh, what what happened to you? W were you hurt in the fighting?" They speak Elven at you. All right. Uh, Theory will very disarmingly like point to her healing pouch like on her side and then, like if. With her this hands is a up, this like... Is a mask. This is a yeah, stack, this is a right? stack. They can't be healed anyway. I know, but no, the Theory no. is going to waste her action trying. Okay, that sounds fine. Because that's how... Yeah, you can try is. and make some boo-boos feel better. Uh, yeah, Astra exactly. Astra can take a shot. Yes, Astra will indeed try and plug this gladiator full of holes. Sure. Alright, Astra. Longbow. Pachoo! Pachoo! Hit. Hit. And... Uh, I completely forgot yep. about Sunset's turn. Yeah. Uh, too Rip. bad. Mm. Uh, I believe he fails both times. If so he just see. has a raw d20, then yes. Uh, wait, what was the DC? Like, 12. <laughs> it's oh, okay. really no, low. No, he's fine. Uh, still, 15, 19... 25 damage ain't bad. Yeah, for a low-level low character with a longbow. I mean, she's not lower level anymore. I mean, she's lower than me, and she'll hop yeah, off. Yeah, okay. Bloop. I don't have Wolfwatch time. Oh, boy. Uh, just give me a stave attack, a sword attack, a crossbow attack, and a knife attack. Okay. So, sword, yes, staff. crossbow, staff, and knife. Mm-hmm. There you go. Cool. Hit, 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 hit. Uh, this gladiator is going to take... Let's see here. Sword, and then three random dudes out of stack die. So, two off of you, one off of you, and that gladiator takes. Uh, and Adamant Ballista, whoever you fucking want. Alright, uh, let's try and finish off that gladiator. Sure. Oh, no, 
jammed. Nope. Uh, the ballista can't jam, so instead it means something bad happened. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Poked sunset right in the butt. Just anal probe with a ballista <laughs> bolt. Oh yeah. god. Yeah. And yeah. Sorry, that's... sunset. Crunch. Strikes him in the leg. <laughs> oh. And Warforged Wizard. I think what you need to do, friend, is throw like a third level magic missile spell at that gladiator to finish him off. Give it a go. Pew! 20 damage. Yep, he die. Well, he he unconscious, but he about to die because Sunset's about to Wow, look face. at this! Consistently pew, pew, pew. decent. Fucking double fours, three, one, three. Yep. I can never roll a four on a magic missile. Let's just put him in the GM layer so we can add him to the stack of the dead. It's a nicely developing stack. There's going to be a lot of loot. I imagine. I'm sure you guys always look forward to walls of loot. I mean, to be fair, I think the Jarl's troops and the mercenaries are getting most of this. Probably. You can probably, like, point off as all the generic stuff and then just roll for special things. I'm yeah, not going to exactly. be super fussy about it. Oh, hey, we won. Basically. It's almost, yeah. Crossing forces. These ones are largely unharmed, but the battle has indeed turned. Uh, one of them is going to get struck down because they are not disengaging properly. They're going to try and beans it for dear life. All right. Uh, come on, little staff bitch. Yeah, yeah. Crack the one of them, is, one of one of them is basically has his head like golf swung off of him. It's okay. I can fireball things. Yep. At least take a few more guys off of it by my turn. Okay. We'll just fireball this area when they all retreat there. Yeah, we're Pretty back much, at yeah. the top of the initiative. Uh, Aya's used up all of her good stuff, uh, but she just has like void bolts. I'll probably kill like. Five more guys, maybe. No! She, uh, crit fails, and then misses. I'll be down. Uh, thankfully she's, like, firing from above and can't wound players, but it's a pretty bad one, and it scorches her fingertips. She'll have disadvantage on her next attack. And at the end of her turn, legendary action. Two guys die. <laughs> And then also on the end of her turn, uh, some laser beams are going to shoot at, uh, I don't know, that gladiator. Sure. You... Nope. Good. Oh, bully. Oh no, Bullgruff. Uh, attack again, because it's not a high enough number to... Uh, Alright, let's, let's see if I can miss bully. No, you can't. Oh no. Video on take time. Bully! Bresh. <laughs> this was my plan all along. Murder him in the battlefield. <laughs> no one will ever suspect it was my giant fucking Eye of Sauron. Da, 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 da. I've heard Black Sabbath playing the whole time. Very satisfying. Alright, local captains are gonna stop firing at people in melee combat and try and Take kill off people, the people running, running away. away. Maybe yeah. That group of elite forces back there who aren't in melee with anybody? Uh, you know what? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Oh, that's supposed to be one higher. Doesn't matter, it hits. Crunch. Those elite forces stacks are actually... Oh, that hits. I take it. It kills another elite. Yep. Uh, they actually are a 20-person stack, then. They're, like, as close to, an, like, an army-looking force as opposed to, you know, what is it effectively war bands when you look at all the other soldiers and people? Like, the elite forces are effectively... Able to do things like shield wall and all that nonsense. Even the Yarl's Wolf packs are just 10 man packs. They're just good. Marcus is gonna try and do a smash. Uh, that guy can't even avoid him. Then his slow tank to stone. Well, it would be, frankly, quite unsporting for me to hit you. So let's come on over here and assist my brand new friends. Uh, and really, him. really mess this gladiator's day up. Crunch. You're all Wolfpack. I'm pretty sure that you guys have got this now. Oh yeah, they are 
savaging them to a man by this point. I believe it is that this that people are going to start trying to run away. We can stay in initiative if you would like to try killing people who escape. Uh, as long as they aren't dragging away the Captain Returner, I can be fine with uh, just leaving. They certainly want to try, actually. Then I feel like we should continue in initiative so that Viv can explode them. Okay. Yeah. Jeanette. Um, I, I, I don't see any allies that I can heal. I'm gonna go heal my daughter. Sure. I mean, the sunsets at like. Less Actually, yeah, sunset is is oh. actually in a genuine threat of getting killed in this fight. How? How can I? Um. Viv, tell your giant to come down here so I can heal him. I can't reach that high. <laughs> There's like a baluster like sticking out of his leg. You can probably pour a potion into the wound. Alright, um... Where, it's directly uh, into the bloodstream. There it is. Yep. It's, it's a good fucking draw. Alright, yep. The T-Rex is looking a lot healthier. And the baluster and... is sort of like the bolt is pushed out of its leg. Alright. Um... Tam's gonna come over here. And... What kind of attack is it? Hang on. Help him. Oh, it's a cone. I'd, I'd hit the Warforged. Never mind. He'll just bite. Sure. 14. Nope. Okay. Alrighty. More cleric. Uh, they're fine. Elite forces. They are going to try and disengage. Well, they don't try to disengage. They disengage. Uh, local captain, balance the target, pick one out. I mean, this group of elite forces that just disengaged would be a real tempting sure. target. <laughs> that is sadly a miss. Womp. Crossing forces. Uh, they are going to just disengage. Gladiator is so fucking dead. <laughs> he is so, so surrounded. Would he like to take the surrender option? Yeah, yeah, that guy is, is surrendering. He drops what looks like a golf bag full of spears. And will put his, uh, <laughs> will drop to his knees and put his hands on the back of his head. I won't put, a, put him in the GM layer because he's still on the field, but I'll put a big X on him. All right, aquatic lancers. Uh, sure, they're going to try and block off this force of retreat and try and get them to surrender as well. Cynthia. Okay, so first off, bonus action to dash, and I'm going to move all the way up here. Uh, give a little tail pat to uh, Astra to make sure she's like, hey, by the way, I'm over here. And then we're going to attack the. Uh, we're gonna go to the crossing forces. This seems sure. like a good. I try to make him a little bit easier. Actually, no, yeah, these guys since they're the only ones in range. Okay. Take off the weight. Twenty six. Uh, yeah, you uh, immediately kill one. Gah! And that'll do me. Sure, these aquatic lancers are going to position themselves between these forces as well and present their weapons. Captain Returner, uh, death save. One failure. Local soldiers uh, are fine now and are going to back away from Benny so he can you know, get out of the dot AoE going on there. Mercenaries, uh, I mean, that guy's about to turn into a statue. They aren't going to bother. Anna. Anna is going to run up through the scrum here and is going to scream and leap at these uh, elite force guys. Seems good to me. Uh, let's 
let's see here. Hit, miss, hit. Immediately Good two case. of them are slain. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Cool. There are two left in that fucking force. Uh, the other wolf pack is going to try and kill another. They do. There is one, one guy, guy left. left. And it's his turn. Would uh, you like to surrender? Yeah, he surrenders. <laughs> Benny is going to oh, uh, take 3d6 first. Why not? Kina. Sorry. Yep, 3d6, please. I'm sorry, I do so, I'm doing so little. Oh, Benny, no! Ow, that one, he fell. Benny, I'm sorry. Uh, from he tentacles, is... tentacles, they don't know, friend from foe. Gonna, uh, climb out of the tentacles now, brush himself off. Uh, the Aquatic Lance is here. We'll wave Theory off, muttering stuff in Elven. Uh, and, and position themselves to butcher these forces. And immediately kill a guy. Hazarin Karel, his work is done. Uh, we'll announce loudly and generally in Theory's direction. This was rather fun. Have a good time. Bring glory to our race. All right. This gladiator. Oh, one more save and he becomes a statue. <gasps> He gets added to he the is goblin a pot. Uh, added the to the goblin, goblin pile. pile. I'm fucking putting him in my yard. Is, what is it, what is his pose as a statue? Is he I just think like, he's drama he's dramatically looking up at the woman when she was at, at uh, Iron Grandma when she was doing so with like a spear halfway to his hand. Stone gladiator. Stone gladiator. All right, Sersha. Uh, I stood up. Why? Uh, yeah, I'm Sersha. Yay! Uh, you're in the dark. They're all going away now. She's in. You're also in a glow of darkness. It's yep. still there. Oh, it doesn't go okay. away. I'll, then I'll go up to the uh where the ballast is. Yep, sure. You can just like flutter your way up to the roof. <sighs> Elfies! Yay! I am going to do a thing. What thing should I do? What thing should I do? I'm going to cast Moonbeam. Ah. And, oh, sorry. I neglected to tell you the target. Yes, uh, please. Wait, uh, uh, what's the range on that? Hang on. What's the range? 120 foot. 120 foot. Screw you, Captain Returner guy! You nerd! He is He's way further than 120 feet. Uh, huh? He's oh, 120 yeah. feet from you. You can get like the crossing well, forces here if you wanted, or the elite forces. Well, using things like Moonbeam and Sphere Friend is effective the one time you cast it, basically, and they don't take dots. <laughs> it would kill a guy. Would. Okay, well, I guess I will... Heck up those elite forces. Sure. You're all nerds. Yep, one of them is killed by a moonbeam. Nerd. Hey. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the uh, T Rex here. Sure. Scoot up here. And one is back on the. Huh. There is no target. Oh, no, you've got reach, don't you? And you've done this one. Yeah. There. Uh, you want to double them up, huh? Yeah. Okay, go for it. 
I, I can't multi-attack on one target, but I can multi-attack on two. Yep. One with the head and one with the butt. Okay, the bite on the elite forces. And the, uh, and the tail on the, uh, crossing forces. Okay, uh, yeah, they both lose a member. And then Viv. Yep. Take out a fireball at this squanch back here. I might as well scoot up first. Sure. And then fire one last fireball. Go for it. Yeah. Actually, I still got a fourth level spell here. <laughs> might as well do that. Thirty-eight. Uh, well, remind me. I think if an attack's made at range, it just does one death save, right? Saving. Correct. Yep. Okay. And charge twenty. They're in spread formation now, but one of them is still going to lose a member. Probably that one that was one guy dead. Okay. Yeah, um, let's see here. Local soldiers, uh, fine, Titian. All right, Titian. What can you do, my elfie boy? Uh, probably just moonbeam the crossing forces in front of them. Sure. Let's see, let me check your spells real quick. Yeah, let's just... Give them a moonbeam in the butt. Yep, it will kill one, but the dot won't do anything afterwards. Correct. Then he himself will move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet up here. <laughs> Gotta stay relevant. Okay. Yep. Astra. Yeah. Alright, how does Astra feel about killing slavers? Especially Cat and Slaver. Yeah. Actually, you know what? She currently still has a very large chip in her shoulder after failing her save to keep her shit together at seeing the baby pet. So, yeah, she probably would. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's see, what, what do you have for spells? Oh, you have Chromatic Orb. Is that a spell attack? Yeah. That is a spell attack, yeah. Do I have any that... Oh, I have Scorching Ray. Excellent, that's three shots. That's still spell attack, anyways. Yeah, but it is three shots. Yeah, it'll help against the uh, disadvantage. Yes. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, she will indeed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move up there. And then... Is she in Ranger or Witch Bolt? Oh, no, you can still save I, that's that. That's still a spell attack. Just... It's the yeah, problem. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Astra will attempt to murder a man just to see how it feels. All right. I boom, got that right. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah, he's fucking dead. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is struck and killed. There's just a stream of expletives from her. Yeah, indeed. One second. Like, keep an eye on Astra's sheet here. Chaotic Rue? Yes. Oh. Take, take a peep in that floor's box. Oh, poor baby. What, what does it say? I am traumatized by slavers. Oh. Oh. It's alright, sweetie. No one's ever going to get you. That's true. All right, these forces surrender. Yeah, it's probably a good choice. These forces are still in the deadly tentacles, so they're going to disengage their way into here. They still lose a guy, though, don't they? Uh, no, they don't take dots. I thought it was at the start of turn. They don't take damage from dots. They're a stack. Okay. 
but they will also surrender, I believe. I think that that is going to start marking it. Captain Returner is dead. There's one stack that's still running. Do you let them go? Uh, yeah, I don't care about random goobers. All right, then. Yeah, that should be fine to let them go. Um, so need to act. They are running. Yeah, if... Fire is done. The crap is done. Mark is done. 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 They surrender. Done. Done. Gee, we took Move. a lot of prisoners this time. Surrender. Done. And then the lance is fine. I'm fine. Dead. Fine. Done. 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 Gone. Tazaran pulls a vanisher. Done. 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 And surrendered. Done. There we go. Mass combat done in two hours. Nice. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> not even that. So, that went well. Whew. All right. We lost a few mooks, but... Yeah, that battle went extremely well for us. All right, and I'm going to start... I'm going to get rid of everyone's fucking, like, auras and stuff, too. Oh, man. I, I have a good idea on how we can make this whole problem go away. Slavery? No. Although, it has to do with that. So as yes. we're rounding up all of the uh, the captured minions, Theory will witch broom over to Bully and like just poke him with a big cure wounds. Boop. And Cynthia pops back into existence. <laughs> Sight. But, you know. Yeah. And once Bully's all cured up, she will say, Wow, that was a bloody mess, but I have an idea that can make this whole problem for us go away. See yes, all so. these guys? These these prisoners yes. we took. How about we just offer them back to Ash and Hold free of charge if they just let this whole problem with us go away? Just publicly say we're all square for the tieflings mm. we rescued. It's How possible, many guys is this? although our guys. only potential high priority return uh, is quite dead. Well, yes, but that's still a lot of soldiers. It's still a lot of people, it's true. They might they care. A, and besides, since they're game. refusing to publicly acknowledge who we stole, you'd think this many soldiers would be more than enough for three simple slaves, hmm? Very possible. So they'd either start to look like we took something very, very important, something that might make other people question them, or we settle the problem. Hmm. It and, can't hurt to try. Uh, as you're saying that, Marx is going to stamp on up and then clap you on the shoulder. Ah, uh, Theory! It was a pleasure to be here with you, fighting once again the good fight. However, I believe I should be off, and if anyone asks, I wasn't here in the first place. Who are you again? The old exactly. Old no, in fact, no, he's not that quick way. Why, I'm Marcus, of course. <laughs> <laughs> She'll just laugh and say, I know, I just, I'm practicing the line for later. Thank you uh, for uh, being here. We really appreciate it. It is my pleasure to fight the forces of evil whenever they should rear their ugly, ugly, sinfully ugly heads. And as he says that, one of these guards just like look down at himself self consciously. <laughs> uh, yeah, Theory will just like whisper up that she hopes the Grand Knight's doing well, and then she's gonna go over here and start uh, tending to the wounded. She's gonna try and save as many injured friends and foes that she can, as she is wont to do. Who's this guy again? Uh, one of the adamant golems. Right. Oh, yes, this golems. Back home, no, go. They didn't get hurt at all. Good job. No, they team. didn't take a scratch. They did a good job because it takes them a while to recover. Good job, boys. Yeah. All right. Aya will begin looking quite peaked out after casting her spell, but she's looking rather pleased with herself. She wanders over, smiles and nods ahead politely at Theory, reaches down and gives Kishin a big old ass squeeze, and then is going to head off herself with a dainty little smile, oh flying off into the, into the distance like a planet needs her. Oh my. <laughs> Ma'am, that was wonderful. 
Hishin, you dirty, dirty elf. You hear a dink from inside Hishin's armor. <laughs> he just smirks and folds his arms. She's still younger than me. No judgment, just a little judgment. <laughs> Isn't that like, worse She is though? absolutely a Gmail. Were I <laughs> so no inclined, I would probably agree. I'd do her too. Viv. Y you do anything though. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> At least you're self conscious. Casual nods. Yeah, Marcus too is getting to uh, go over and give Bulgraf a hug. Speaking of which, I guess I should actually push the cure wounds button, huh? Yeah. I get to finally close this wall of tabs, you guys. Jesus. Yay! I'm proud whenever I get through like large scale things like this quickly. Oh, hang on, I can cure wounds too now. Yep. The healing of the party gets even crazier. Yeah, it really does. Wait, no, I only got healing word. Just stay over here. Mmm, delicious. Pancakes, right? That's why it's surreptitiously. Five factor. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yay. Syrups right. on my tits. Uh, the process of beginning this healing begins and goes underway. Now, I'm sure that you're all, however, excited to hear about loot. Yes. Oh, is there a magic item loot? Uh, amongst this many people, yes, there is. And also the Returner and the Grand Wizard carried magical equipment. Oh, yeah. I fucking... I think you, Astra you deserves whatever's on the Grand Wizard for her troubles. She did an incredible job of assassinating that Grand Wizard. However, he is one of the kings of racist slavery and wants nothing to do with him. Really? She doesn't want to liberate whatever he's using and use it to free slaves in the future? All right. Uh, I mean, make a persuade test against her and she'll probably accept. All right, let me unfuckulate my character sheet here. I will continue to just menace these prisoners. Yeah, they're menace summarily them. spoops. Yeah, all right. Menace. She'll she'll partake of anything that doesn't look like some kind of, like, the equivalent of... I'm not taking the crucifix, though, even if it's magic. Yeah, no, those things should be destroyed if they're like that. Ethereal will just, like, look over her shoulder and say, I think you mean disenchanted, so we can make something useful out of their scum. I mean, mm. sure, if you can do that. If I can't, someone else can. Either way, we shouldn't let it go to waste, whatever it is. If these fiends brought their l lucre here for us then I feel like we have an obligation to use it to better our own cause. Anna, please stop playing amongst the bodies. Bodies? Uh, These are the... Those are, those are living people. It's even worse. Also, <laughs> living people have bodies, too. I mean, that's not worse than her playing with dead bodies? I'm pretty sure of that. I don't know. Anyway. Don't scare, don't scare the, uh, don't scare the uh, war prisoners, guys. Tiger it. Uh... Any more than they already are. Ah! Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Elves. Where are they? Hi, elves. Hi. Does anybody know how to talk to them? They seem friendly. I will oh, yes, say Tishin. hello in Fey. Hello, um, Elfies. I am Sirsha. They like mumble and bubble amongst themselves. Anna, you understand them, of course. And so they don't understand what the fairy is saying. Yeah. The water spirit is going to like sploosh her, pot her head out of the water and go, hello, Sirsha. <gasps> Yay! Hi! Now, what was her okay. name again? Did we get a name? Uh, no. Jeanette will wave at the water spirit again. I'm going to shake. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to shake the ring. I'm going to blow on the ring. I'm going to whisper to the ring. I'm going to shake the ring again. And then it's going to say, hi. And they will, yeah, they will look to you, Anna. Hello there. 
A pleasure to hear someone speaks the older of the times. <laughs> I can tell. I regret that we arrived so late this uh, encounter. We are informed by one of the princesses that you might require some assistance. Some of you were known to her. That was really cool. How you just hopped out of the water like that, and you like climbed up the rope. That was really cool. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, also, this is, I'm going to start revealing things. So, uh, this was on the uh, captain. Ah, oh, gross. It's, what's her name's eye again? Mahi's eye. Mahira's <laughs> eye yeah. hunty death. Except this one is for hunting tiefling. Aww. There is, of course, like, you know, hard currency, but I imagine that that's going to go off to the soldiers and the mercenaries. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what's the name of the fucking uh, sphere on a chain that you sway and it's got incense in it? Uh, oh fuck! Hold on. I uh, it's actually in the Pathfinder SRD. It's... A sensor. That's one of them. An aspergillum. Yes, an aspergillum. So, you yes, know, half our it. party was illuminated by this witch hunter's eye. Oh no, the Aspergellum is the one that's on a stick. So yes, it's the sensor, it's on a chain. You are correct, Kina. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, and out. Uh, I mean, yeah, the witch hunter's eye is incredibly fucking powerful, by the way. I noticed, but... Targets within 60 feet of tiefling descent. Indeed. Uh, you know, pop it in the magic item section regardless. Alright. Let us see here. Good if we were still fighting uh, uh, Theory's mom's forces. I mean, we might in the I future. I think I just want to take the eye and just like, whoa, look at this. Look at this thing. This is a. Wait, let's look. It's an eyeball. Yes, we should break that down into residium and then make something useful out of it. But I could put it in a statue. No. What if I made, like, a, ooh, ooh, a cyclone? And it has this big eye in it. It's a magic eye. But what if, the say, ooh. theory was able to take residium from it and make an even better magic item? Something that you could actually use, like maybe some magic armor, Anna. I looked down on myself. Hmm? You do get hit quite a lot. Is there maybe some magic medium armor for you? Is that all there is to the sensor of righteous revolt? Like, so far as you can tell, would you like to try and make an identify check? Sure. I'm just wondering if that's like something I can use every day, or it has a. Oh yeah, no, there's no limit. You just fucking give this thing a waft around, light a fire inside the sensor, and give it a fucking waft, though, and it will do that every day. So basically, the party forever has a plus two bonus to all their saving throws now. Excellent. Yeah, assuming you use the sensor. I mean, why would you ever not? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good. Point. So just put like a universal modifier to plus two to all saves then. Yep. Cool. Global saving throw modifiers. Is it two? Yep. Yes, plus two. Global saving throw modifier, or in my case, plus four. Haha. -ha. Yeah. If you're incapable of smelling, it's not going to work on you, but I don't think that counts for anyone in your party. Yeah, no, that is like none of you super, are wall forged. That's like the super opposite of what I can do. <laughs> yeah. All right, plus nine uh, deck save, guys. Behold the mighty charisma save. Where, where was the, uh, where's global saving throw? If uh, you go under the uh, cog there and scroll yeah, down a little there. bit, there should just be a global saving modifier. 
Yeah, it's right in the middle of the sheet. Ah, got it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But yes, I will also do a uh, a identify check on it. Uh, Look, I have a positive strength here, saving throw right now. But wait, there's more. Press, bitch. There you go. Twenty-seven. Do I identify anything more to the sensor? Okay. Um, give me a moment, then, Dom. Oh, oh no, it was cursed. Okay. Or it has some horrible effect on tieflings that smell it. It would. It honestly would because of who it's up with. Yeah, that's that's sort of the thing. Take that out of GM notes. Okay, so once one day every week we need to not huff yeah. huff the things okay tiefling suffer the illness for a week yeah of course Some real bad news for you wait what is it could you just reopen it i closed it already oh okay all right. all right all right i see uh hey speaking of which did that uh woman from the dungeon ever recover the one who was od'd um, uh, how really long were you at it? Probably. We get to that in a moment. Okay. If you would like to, I just remembered her out of the blue. Okay. I remember her in the middle of the week between uh, between uh the downtime sessions. But then I forgot. Yeah, as you do. As as one does. Okay. Uh, let us see here. You do a lot of thinking in my one job, and I did. I can't write it down. Okay. The uh, captain had a fire-breathing potion thing. I believe that we have that somewhere in here. The potion of dragon's breath? Yep. He had a dragon's breath potion. Neat. Would really that... anybody mind if I hung on to that since I already have the other one? And I could just... Eh, go ahead. Nah, you keep it. So apparently, I'm... the dragon's breath uh, potion is what killed my little brother's uh, friend's character ten minutes into their first session. Nice. Right. Also, I'm going to reclaim my four potions from Marcus and uh, Bully. Yeah, sure. They're happy to hand them back over. Mine. <laughs> this is really expensive. What they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Let's see here. This is why a level okay. one sorcerer shouldn't steal stuff from a shop. <laughs> Yeah, that that is a thing a sorcerer should not be doing. Just stealing in general is usually just a fucking bad fucking move. Yeah, it's a pretty bad move. Shouldn't do it. It wasn't even steal. Or yeah, it was just straight up robbing too. Hmm. Okay. Now, there is a special weapon on that Captain Returner. Uh, roll me a d3, please. Okay. Uh, so it appears to be a plus one short sword. Ooh. Short sword of what? Just a plus one short sword. Do I need to ID check it, or is it just a plus one short sword? I'm just gonna say the trouble. It's just a plus one short sword. Okay. Uh, does anyone yeah. want a magic sword? Uh, does right. anyone have use for it? I mean, what, I can use one now, and I don't have one, but. Oh. Uh, sure. If you want to be a melee. I mean, wait. Is my rapier magic? Did I upgrade that? I did. Okay, never mind. I don't need that. Damn it, what I spent all that sword money. Is it? Short sword. Plus one short sword. Ah. Uh, I think you're I allowed because can... you're... If you make it your packed weapon, but otherwise, no. I already have two magic knives. Why would I want a magic sword, too? I can take it then if nobody else wants it. Yeah, give you a melee option. I, I can't make... Yeah, I can't melee for the life of me even if I wanted to. You also aren't proficient in short swords, so... Exactly. 
I'm a bard now, but I don't think I still don't think they give short swords. Uh, I don't think multi-class bard does. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think so. It's I don't, have, I don't have the player's handbook with me because my brother. Oh, I'll take a look. It's upstairs. Let's see. Customizing, multi classing. There we go. Bard gives you light armor, one skill of your choice, one music instrument. So. Nope, you do not, in fact, get any weapon proficiencies from Bard. Nope. Oh, well. All right. I don't need um, him anyway. I, my deck. My dex is shit, and my strength's even worse. 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Can I get 13 D100, please? Okay. Aw, oh, yeah, right. 69. With another 6. Oh, you were 3 off! Okay, so we've got... You were 3 off in the right way, at least. Uh... I mean, I got a 69 in it. I don't see three, why I would not four, want that. Six, six, six. Five, I know, but... Six, seven. And you're at least three eight, off in the right way. Eight. Those two sixes, though, rather unfortunate. Mm -hmm. One's at least made up with that 92. Okay. Holy so, shit. some people from uh, Urban Arcana know what I mean when I say mundane magical items. Ah, yes, yay! yes, 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 yes. The fuck? Okay. So, mundane oh. magical items are basically the kinds of things that people might have in their household, like as literally just a totally nonsense objects. So like, for instance, a frying pan that always smells of bacon. Best. So, the sort of shit like the panties are warming are. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Mundane magical items. The best. And they've the gotten some ridiculous. Ever. They've gotten some ridiculous ones over time. The toasting rack that never lets toast go untoasty. It's true. Yeah. Keep the toast toasting. Perfect. No, it's the toasting rack that make that makes sure toast never becomes uncrispy. That's right. Plus yeah. two fork. Yeah, there's a pl there was a plus two fork. That was pretty cool. The never-ending box of condoms. Yep, that's that would be useful one. for Viv. Yes. Okay. I might open Urban Arcana just to pull up my fucking randomizer numbers. Give me a moment. I'm gonna, in fact, do that right now. Because I've even made a table of how to roll those to make my own life a little bit easier. Video games. God, did good. I'm in a lot of games, aren't I? Uh, Urban Arcana. All right, so he wants to roll the first mundane yes. magical item. Okay. All right. Winter was always ready. Yeah, of course. He was waiting to say yes. Did you want to Where did I hide my rules again? I have so many sheets in this fucking game. Uh, give me a moment. I'm giddy. I know. Okay. Uh, 1d5, please. It is a kitchen good. Oh, yes, yes, isn't it? A kitchen what? A kitchen good. The Ooh, best kind of goods. Uh, I kitchen one, good. 1d8, please. Okay then. Uh, this is a uh, a teapot that makes sure that the tea inside never goes cold. Ooh! Is someone that's updating really... the party late? That's really nice. Uh, sure, I will. What was it again? A never cooling teapot. Never cooling teapot. Hmm. Always hot teapot. That might be better. Oh, that's a nice yeah, yeah, teapot. That's good, better. Good name. And with that, I'll be right back.
All right. Uh, who next? Yeah, well, let's do it. Use that teapot to like make soup, and then you can just carry the teapot around, and you'd have hot soup all the time. Who knows? It's designed yeah, for tea, you but you'd never know. So was it a one d five? Uh, one d five fast. All right. It is an article of clothing. Ooh. Okay. Uh, one d fifteen, please. Ah, it is a pair of shoes. Uh, 1d100. Okay. It is actually a pair of horse shoes. A pair of what now? Horse shoes. Horse shoes, huh? Yeah. Okay. So They are horse they shoes that don't get muddy. <laughs> really neat. Cool. Keeps your keeps your keeps your horse's hooves clean. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you have horses. You know. So who's it gonna get? Is Raisin gonna get them or Cherry gonna get them? I mean, Raisin obviously. Ah yes. Ra Raisin's Raisin the old girl. Raisin never gives a fuck though. It's true. I don't know. May yeah, you're right. Cherry should get them because she's really finicky about her appearance. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, next to D5. That's uh, straight. No! Okay. 1D5. Alright, uh, also an article of clothing. 1D15, please. Ooh. Wow. A 1 and, like, natural 1 and then a 15. Crazy. Sure, uh, 1d100, please. Now let's just go for a 50, and that'll be make this uh, dice variance excellent. Nah, you're gonna get a 100 or a 1. Close. Oh, oh you got the, the, the answer, I see. Mm. Ah, yeah. Quite, yes. Soon we'll uh, meet a potted plant falling from the sky. Interesting. Uh, uh, it is an ultra absorbent vest. <laughs> uh, why would anyone build this? Jeanette says to herself. Squinting because it hadn't it. been built yet, obviously. It's a really good point. Mm -hmm. All Seven, right. one d five. Okay, Captain. Nice. <laughs> More clothing. One D fifteen. I mean, it makes sense. Oh shit! I fucked yeah. that up. Nice. Uh, ooh, it's eyewear. Okay. One D one hundred. It is a pair of glasses for close-sighted people. Uh. I guess th I think those should go to the Atomic Granny. Oh my god, I've already yes. got a lovely pair of glasses, though. Are they magic, though? Uh, I mean, those aren't. I mean, to be fair, technically those aren't magical, but in this setting, like, you know, properly lensed glasses are a bit of a challenge. So who, who, who is nearsighted? Or is it farsighted? Yeah, nearsighted. Who's nearsighted? Hmm. I don't think we know mm -hmm. anybody who's nearsighted. Or at least no one who's diagnosed themselves as nearsighted to you. Uh, Kina, 1d5, please. Oh. Mm. Fucking apparently, Saban needs those, but near size where they can't see up close, right? Or is that the far sighted bedroom? <laughs> you will probably love this. Uh, one D one hundred, please. Oh dear. <laughs> so close. Rule sixty three. It's true. It is a pet. It is a pet's collar covered in little pink ribbons. <laughs> Yay! Ah. Uh... The I ribbons never break. I love and it, it is immediately. Comfy for the pet. Yeah. What I is think... it? I on sunset. I, I think it? that just immediately goes on Anna. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all covered in bows. Huh? Yeah, it'd be really pretty if you wore it. 
That's never <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's re that's good. I'm just gonna delete that yeah. off the party inventory. Just immediately going on Anna forever. Yep. Okay. Uh, now all we need is a leash. Let's go back the other Whoa. direction. Uh, Kina, another one d five. I'm willing to have a pet tattoo. <laughs> More clothing. Uh, 1d15. I, I accidentally exited out of the roll 20. Okay. Chat wants to know where this table is from, or tables. I made it up myself. There you go. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go one uh, step up or step down. It's not gonna be glasses again. It's too rare for the setting. Uh, let's go up. Okay, it's a coat. One D one hundred. It is a coat that always smells of roses. Uh, let's go with uh, 1d6 for color and 1d3 for length. Okay. Ooh. You tried. Uh, it is a dark purple and goes down to the knees. Ooh. Ooh. And it always smells of pretty roses. I kind of want that. I think all the I think all everyone all the wants. ladies want it. <laughs> I mean, I just want it because it's purple and that's the royal color. Because you know I'm noble and important now. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, save in one d five. All right, one d five. Yeah, everyone but Jeanette wants it. Well, I more clothing. God damn it! One d fifteen. Can I mulligan that? Uh, Alright, another D5. It's the clothing again. Okay. Uh, no, it is a household object. Okay. What's that? Uh, 1D6. 1D6, okay. Okay, this would have to be a smaller one. Uh, 1D100. Alright, it is a shoehorn that works instantly. Shoehorn that works instantly okay Neat. Never, yep, you just never have a problem life, getting your shoes but... on for all this time to get against those pesky boots does anyone in the party have magic boots i think viv does i'm wearing like, magic boots two, right of the, now. two of the party are wearing magic boots right now maybe three okay so ooh, that's ooh, actually special might boots. Be useful for us yeah, they're kind of the thing that makes me walk around with not having armor on and not she's taking walking around like, in, penalties. She's just walking around in a bodice, effectively, all the time, you realize. Yeah, I know. She's that... wearing fuck me boots and a uh, corset top. Boots of the Winterlands. Yep. Oh, yeah, and Anna's bell boots are the, the boots of uh, replaceable jingle. Uh, let's see here. Angel, 1d5. Okay. It'll probably be more clothing. No, it won't be. Ooh, uh, it's another pet object. Uh, 1d100. Sorry, 1d3, 1d100. 1d100 or 1d300? 1d3 one... and then 1d100. And then 1d100. Okay, okay, sorry. It just makes her them up in my brain there. <laughs> it's a little hat for birds that makes other birds think it's the king of birds. Oh my uh, god. Go I, I want to find a bird now. Wait, no, we, no, we don't have a bird. Hold on, wait, as bird, soon wait. as we identify this... Theory will run up and just put it on Titian's head. Oh, Titian's on a bird. He will squint and then put it on Prosper's head. Prosper immediately gains like a hundred pounds. Just bleh. 
<laughs> it becomes the king. Of, yeah, it becomes the fanciest, which means that it has to be also the fattest. The fattest, fanciest bird. <laughs> Delightful. Would it work on sunset? He's not a bird, really. He's a raptor. Okay. But you know who is a bird? Prosper. Prosper, king of birds. Bird king Prosper. All right, uh, and now we've got an actual magical piece of equipment. Let's see here. May I? Weapon, shield, armor, tool. Uh, 1d4, please, pets. Come on, be a magic tool. Be something cool. Uh, magic shield. Ooh. Do you have a shield yet? I, I have a mundane shield. Hmm. And I'm the only party I mean, person in the party who's proficient in them other than Astra, so... Yeah, that's that's after loot, Stray. I'm amazed that she was able to concentrate on loot long enough. Wait, are all these old Fudas, or...? I don't know. I just said... I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm a Fuda. This is true. Uh, there's probably, like, you know, one in every ten of them is, is rocking a dingle dangus. Excellent. There's a, there's a couple that might be boys actually, but it's hard to tell. I ain't there. It, well, yeah, well, you, you got to spend a lot of time with them to figure it out. But uh, the women have bigger dicks, so that's yeah, that's one way of telling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what am I rolling next? Uh, give me a one d hundy. Thirty six. Okay. Not that. Not that. What is this here? Quote from chat. Like the now the party no right longer now. looks like badasses or crazy people, and instead look like the fashion police. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Look, I never looked like one of those. I was always part of this. Oh, it is a bursting shield. Oh, was that? Whenever an enemy misses you by the amount of AC your shield is conferring, or less, the shield knocks them prone of its own accord, dealing 1d4 bludgeoning. Neat. Ooh. So they'd have to miss by three then. And is it a plus one shield? Uh yeah. Yeah. Uh hmm. either way it goes to you say then. Yeah, I'm just thinking about you know what? Astra has like two badass magic swords, I'm gonna take the goddamn shield. Fair enough. Yeah, but you can make AC tank even AC or. I mean, Tankier. hold on. What's what's Astra's AC? Come here, mini me. Is it even that high? I, I thought it was all, high. My characters have identical armor class right now, so. Oh. I guess you're right. I will let Astra have it. And. No, nah, I mean, if you want to keep it on you, keep it on you. It's your choice. No, I mean, it's literally an identical effect. It's just who's going to get hit more often. And the answer is ultimately Astra. Mm -hmm. Matt, and if you don't get hit, then, you know, you aren't getting to blast them with Hellfire. True. The one whole time that happens, but yeah. All right. We will delete Astra's basic bit shield and then drag in a shield plus one. Okay then, excellent. See, so uh, you guys are pretty fucking tooled. And you did indeed pick up some things. Yeah, the uh, objects are, are broken up into clothing, bedroom, kitchen, household, or pet. It's a shame none of us rolled bedroom. Indeed, no one rolled bedroom. <sighs> I even bedroom. mulliganed my fucking roll, and we couldn't couldn't quite get there. Does this shield require indeed. attunement? No. Okay. Also, did, who wants to hang on to the... Those are the bedroom uh, options on the table. 
Who wants to hang on to the s fucking uh, censure? I'll hang on to it. Okay. Censor of Righteous Revolt. Yep. So yeah, the process from then is, you know, handling the fact that you've got a large number of, of well, prisoners, uh, and they'll need shipping back, mm -hmm. or they need just releasing out into the world and being like, go fucking deal with it yourselves. Are you going to leave any of them with a message, or what? When, when you want to do the negotiations first, before you even, like, sending them or releasing them at all? Yeah, we need to negotiate for someone, so I think they're going to end up staying either here and crossing, or getting shit back to Overland. Uh, Overland would be the better place to hold them, because it has an actual place to keep me prisoners. Uh, Crossing has, like, you know, really basic prisons for, like, pe people who do small crimes, not, you know, prisoners of war. That's true, that's true. You know, if anyone pulls a, um, a Jace and needs to get beheaded by the guard, this is where you keep them, not, uh, not Overland. That's for important people's... Yeah, okay. Uh, the you know, will organize his wolf pack into surrounding them and uh, marching back them back. In just a sec. Sure thing. Likewise, the mercenaries are going to, like, you know, split off from their respective parties after getting a share of the cash. The actual process for you guys is, is a lot longer than this rolling is taking. Like, you know, it's an hour of combing through people's shit and spreading out and splitting money. Uh, there are a couple of objects that appear to be, like, you know, personal family objects, a couple of the prisoners would prefer to take those off your hands. Uh, presumably none of you are cool enough to be like, no, fuck you! Or maybe you are, I don't know. No, they can keep their personal, like, family artifacts and stuff like that. We're not horrible, racist slavers like them. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, Anna is having a dance with the elves and having fun, and Viv, I take it that's a score for Smash? Yes! Alright, and you know what? That was an incredibly high roll. Uh, really? Well, let's... All of them at once. <laughs> goodness. Uh, they're a little bit unaccustomed to your customs and are, are not the kind of people to indulge in, like, surprise orgies, but one of them is definitely swayed by the out-of-nowhere post-combat flirtery. Um... Leaning in, eyes fluttering. Yep. Uh, and you know what? They will, uh, reach into a pouch and pull out what appears to be, like, a little chunky seaweed cube. Uh, and pop it in your mouth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, and then hop you into the water. Seaweed and water breathing? Basically, yes. Yay! Uh, and then this elf is going to have a good old frothy fun time with you. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Anna, you start up a more musical encounter more than anything. Uh, uh, there are a number of these elves that are very intrigued at your, uh, well, very special appearance. The tentacles. Yeah, 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 the, the, that stands out. Uh, but a few of them have uh, instruments that don't appear to make any sound. Because they're meant to make sound under underwater. They appear to be like uh, strangely funneled flutes made of shell. Uh, hmm. One of them will pointedly like blow through it, and you hear nothing but air pass through. Uh, and then one of them will cut their hands together, and it fills slowly with water. You recognize this person as some kind of priest. Uh, she pours it into the head of the uh, flute, and for a brief moment, at least until the water is all gone, 
uh, it makes a trilling musical sound like underwater birds. <sighs> that's so cool. Oh, yeah. That's really neat. Sadly, it only works underwater itself properly, but it pushes water through these channels. That's really neat. I don't think my bells will work underwater, though. That's not no. Underwater bells. Um, Do you have, have underwater yet, bells? We have yet to figure out underwater bells. I mean, we have oh. chimes, larger, you know, um, gongs, things struck to make sound, but nothing so small as a bell has too much resistance in water. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Oh, that's sad. Bells are the best. I like the bells. They are very entertaining. Yeah, okay. Uh, people can also, you know, continue on with their healing. Sunset obviously needs some proper medical attention since he got uh, pretty hotly hacked up. He's still under half. Yep. Let's see here. Titian is asking uh, Theory if if uh, that granny is single. Oh my God. Yes, yes, Titian. She she is. We'll crack his knuckles. Do, do you want an introduction? Oh no, I feel like I've I mean... uh, I've got that under control. I mean, Tishin would know if she's single. I would think, unless it happened. Yeah, Tishin's recently. known her. It's just you know, as a burb. That's yeah. That's more his subtle way of being like, yeah, do you yeah. Care? He's... No, theory, theory does not care. Rad. He's going to go back Granny when he gets the chance. <laughs> uh, excellent. You grave robber. Oh, dear. Please, I'm so much many more years than her. It's more cradle robbing than anything, but that's the same for every mortal race. I mean, is that any better, though? Probably not, but I don't care so much. I find that Immortality actually grants this amazing ability to not give a fuck for long swaths of time about well, basically everything. It's fantastic, and I heartily recommend it. I'll keep that in mind, you go, considering that we are one as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're just babies. Yep. We're all little babies. I mean, yeah, I'm only like two. <clears throat> So adorable and widow. Wow, two years old and you're dating my daughter? God. <laughs> Just Who robbing is? the cradle here. How could, how could you how could you back someone twice your age? Astro. <laughs> have you no shame? <laughs> old Astra Granny Smasher, but girl's daughter. <laughs> Speaking well, of which they uh, are in like their twenties, aren't they? Yes, yes indeed. Speaking of which, Astro's sheet says she's five foot and still growing. Has she uh, achieved any greater physical stature over the last couple months? She's got bigger like... tits. Uh, probably she's about five foot five now. Nice. Good girl. Like I feel like it's probably every couple of weeks you have to like resize some of her clothing. That's my girl. Get big and Be strong. bigger than Anna. By a bit. By a fair bit. Now. I'm pretty sure that's everybody, though. Yeah. Yeah, Theory just looks down from on high at her statuesque eight foot three. Uh, when she's not incredibly her beautiful, utterly jacked tentacle friend. <sighs> she's so uh, muscular. All, all five foot nothing. Yep. And that's only five foot? Yeah, and is and is only five feet tall. Yep. She is Amazonian in build, not in stature. Oh, um, Viv slightly taller than her. I put her at five two. Yeah. It's the opposite direction to Seven D, which is a party of giants and a couple of tiny people. It's a party of tiny people and a giant. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, Theory was not very large originally. 
Well, her disguise. No, she good. absolutely was still like a reasonably tall, sexy lady when she was a teeth. Like. I mean, six. yeah, but her her disguise self, which was as far as she was concerned, her real self, uh, uh, was like five five or something. Sudden uncomfortable transgender themes. <laughs> Help, body dysphoria. Oh, sorry. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so is there anything you want to achieve right now? Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a, a, trek, a trek back. Um, you'll have to give it like a little bit of money to Crossing so that they can repair the bridge where it got struck by the adamantine bolts because those fucking really fuck up bridges real hard. <laughs> Define you. Do I? When I concentrate uh, on Kalara, do I hear anything sexy? Or is it just, you know, I hear a fart and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I think that if you just like listen long enough, you can. It depends. How long are you listening for? I mean, after the water sphere goes away and I'm done healing everybody, that uh, you know, it, it, not much to do. Um, you probably can like gather that she's either like reading or tinkering something and pausing to occasionally sip from a glass of wine. Like at one point, there's like a little cork pop to refill it. You figure she refills it maybe like a third of the way up. That sound of liquid stops relatively quickly. And gets recorked again. Neat. I can tune into the object of my obsession whenever I want. This yep. is the best power. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I have silent as a deep now. Yeah, it's true. You are you don't jingle jangle when you walk anymore. You just fucking walk around quietly. It's strange. You should be making noise. You are. Wait, does the water spirit speak Aquin? Uh, yeah. I can communicate with her. You speak Aquin? I speak primordial, which is all of the four. Yeah. Uh, she speaks, uh... Wait, did the aquatic elf lancers speak Aquin? Um, actually, they don't. She speaks elf mm. to them. Uh... Right, she I speaks uh, Fey Primordial. Well, Arkwin, but I would say Primordial. Uh, Fey Primordial and Elf and Common. Yeah, my the elves themselves appear to speak Elven. Yeah, I hold my yeah, conversation. I got Primordial as a language from my subclass now. Neat. I communicate with the Water Spirit in Fey, because Jeanette likes Fey. Yeah. And she, uh, talk, she talks to the Water Spirit about all of her uh, Fey upgrades. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then asks if uh, she has anything that uh, Jeanette could use to distill another uh, thingy. Hmm. She'll, like, do a, a slow lean back in the water, like, finger on her chin. Before leaning back towards you again. Nope, sorry. Okay. Oh. Yeah, she doesn't have stuff. That's fine. All right. Uh, that's it for me. Cool. Any more for any more? All right, I guess not. Then, yeah, you, the journey to the Overland Keep will begin again once everything's all, all divvied up and Viv has finished having an underwater bang. Hmm. Yep. We're heading back to Overland Keep. Uh, you know what, though? Actually, one of them will um, will speak to Anna and ask oh. to translate to the Jarl that uh, they would like to extend a cordial visit to their home. Okay. I'll take that one's hand, and we'll run over to the the Jarl. Yep. Shrink it down to. Uh, yeah, she uh, will look between Anna and the Jarl, and then speak a bunch of Elven to the Jarl. He understands maybe like one in every thirty words. Tashan. That's fine. Anna's literally translating I'll translate. from her side by side. Dishon's going to get him some granny ass. Yeah, he's he's off to go. He's off to go. Oh, go he's already smash. left. Okay. No, no, no. He's 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 with your. He's actually like outright fucked up. 
<laughs> that would be so funny. He's probably having a conversation with Benny, and I can't be asked to get his other token, but he would have morphed down from, from Bear to Benny, and is now just sat there drinking from pony kegs together. <laughs> um, greetings, Jarl Bulgraf. And uh, I believe you would be the Jarl's wife by now? Theory will nod. Uh, uh, and she will you know, it, it takes time to, to translate between each step. Jarl Bulgraf, I would like to cordially invite yourself or your companions to visit our home. Uh, we graciously accept, assuming that we will not drown in the doing. We do not believe so. It is possible to get you to the city, and there are sections of it that are survivable for your species, although it would be moderately expensive to traverse the city proper. But there is housing that has air for breathing. Oh. Well, then, yes, we would uh, love to attend, wouldn't we, dear? Um, yes, I suppose so. Don't see why not. And it's not like wet dog forever. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the party of hellhounds and werewolves. Yeah, it's a very, very dog or smell place. Yeah, uh, let's see here. I don't know what that means. Oh, the oh boy. I'm sure everything's fine, though. Uh, let's Maybe. see here. Now that I have details about that city, I just need to make sure that I've got it all correct. Because I don't want to fuck it up. Well, at the same time, sweep us over to the map. They should be able to see it, at least denoted in the uh, southern portion of the waters to Watchland. Oh yeah, we we knew that was there already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, what is that our plan after? Like we finish up with this whole entire like negotiation with Ashen Holds then? Uh... When would we be able to expect you? That's a real good question. <laughs> Look at Bulgrove. He will scratch his jaw and before shrugging and confessing. I don't know. I have no idea how long such discussions might take amongst us. It might take a week, maybe. A little bit longer. Spooky ghost! So should we err on the safe side and say about two weeks then? That sounds reasonable. Very well. And the elf will uh, listen and wait for Anna's translation before nodding. Very well then. Uh, we will do our best to make preparations for your arrival. Uh, if you simply arrive at the shore where our city is located, uh, at which point do you reveal you knew where it was or not? Uh, yeah, I'll be like, Oh yes, uh, we're aware of the location. And theory will, like show her map, which already has it marked. Sure. Uh, she will look surprised and confess to Anna. How very interesting! I did not think that our home was so widely known, even by the people so close to it. I would have thought Watchland consider us more a rumor than anything. Just turn her attention back to you guys. Well then, very well. We shall uh, expect you in a couple of weeks. We look point, forward uh, to it. Yeah, the uh, rest of the lancers will gather together and they will mm, dive into the water. Well, we might get a uh, an extra person off of our list of people to convince. Mm hmm Excellent. I'll have to uh, update the details for the underwater city further so the dos dossier is full on it, but it also was, like, 
that and the Boulay Woods, the two least filled out sections of the dossier. Mm. Oh, yes. Before we uh before we go anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as everyone's like picking up the prisoners and getting ready, Theory's gonna disappear into her tower for a bit. Sure. And uh she's gonna take that bit of blood she secured from the uh dead men on the bridge. Yeah. And she's going to take it up into the uh, the private rooms up top. She's going to rub the blood into a perfect circle on the floor. Sweet. Uh, which song plays? <laughs> uh, by and down. Okay. Oh, uh, not crawling in your crawl. That's not a crawling perfect circle song. Uh, no, but she will indeed. Uh, rub the blood into a circle. <sighs> Take a deep breath, and actually, she will she will put down the little uh, summoning circle next to it, and she'll go just stand next to it. And sure. standing next to both of these, uh, or standing inside the circle of blood, looking at the summoning or the communication circle, she's going to cast a spell. Uh, what up, nerds? <laughs> All right. So how's mm. field theory? Be exactly like your mother. No, no, it's okay. I'm I'm summoning a specific demon. All so right. How's a field theory to be exactly like your mother? No, no, it's I shut up. You're not there. No one else is Please. here. Please speak loud their name. Uh, I save and don't know it, but theory will speak loud the name of her father. Hmm. And see if this will indeed conjure him back up from the abyss. Uh, roll me 1d20. Okay. Okay. The air around you grows hot. Not with a physical heat, but an emotional one. Lude. The circle appears to glow. Uh, and then it looks almost as if someone were opening a door. Uh, it is sort of shunted across to the side, like a trap door just existed in the floor there. And you can smell this like vague brimstony, but to your nose, for some reason, it is quite pleasant. Uh, and a figure climbs out of the hole. Uh, the trapdoor is kicked shut again, and you stare upon a vaguely elfin figure of perfect beauty, uh, pale red-pink skin, uh, and like deep crystalline eyes of yellow and green. Uh, curling horns reach back, uh, although their hair is uh, cropped quite short and close to the skull. The eyes that look over you are intelligent yet warm and greeting. You can see that this individual's body is somewhat androgynous, although it definitely aches more towards the male tendencies, especially when your eyes track further down to what is almost explicitly a foot and a half of uh, equine member. A long tail uh, is sort of lashes from side to side, although it doesn't extend beyond the range of the circle in which they've been summoned, at least not yet. They look over you before speaking in a bissel, in a voice that is like, although the word should sound harsh to any ears, to you it is the smoothest chocolate. My lady, how can I possibly help you? Does this look like Theory's daddy? No, it just looks like an incubus. You would God recognize it as it. such. Theory will just sort of deadpan him for a second and go, God Damn it, you're not who I summoned. No, I believe you've summoned... Well, attempted to summon my brother. Another deadpan stare. You're my uncle? I have an uncle? Oh. Why, hello there. Hi. You're one of my, my brothers get then, would you be? 
I I guess. Yes. Uh I I'm theory. Hello. Hmm. I can somewhat see his eyes and yours. How very entertaining. I assume then that I have not been summoned for sexual pursuits. Uh no, no. Well, I, could I, you I, be perhaps persuaded? I double no. A shame. I I was grab the wrong tiefling. Trying to get my dad. Back. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, my deepest apologies, little mistress, but I am afraid my brother and your father is, is quite deceased. Soul has been sent back to the wheels of circles of time. No, oh, I, I was really hoping he would just go back to where you come from. Um, no, although it is known most occasionally that demons, when deceased returned to the abyss, my brother gave of his essence to someone. I hear to save a life. Uh, I'm afraid in doing so, he quite regretfully destroyed himself. Oh. I'm very sorry, dear niece. That's all right. I, I guess I shouldn't have expected anything. Hmm. Uh, well, a pleasure to meet you, and sorry for accidentally disturbing you, uh, Uncle... Uh, what, hmm. what's your name? You don't have to give me a true name if you don't want to. I, I... Ah, yes. You can call me Irish. Irish? He pronounces it with a little bit of a Z, but yeah, effectively Irish. Um, Irish, uh, uh, thank you for, uh, telling me this, I suppose. Uh, I'll let you get back to whatever it was you were doing. Or whoever, I guess. She'll, like, steal a glance down and blush. Oh, don't mind me. If I was in the middle of the act, I would not nearly be so... Well, flaccid. Please, there's at least a goodness known. Extra half a foot of length awaiting. Mm. You know, give his member an idle flick. Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, goodbye. The theory will just dismiss the spell. <laughs> he will smirk. Uh, and assuming you don't, like, dismiss it violently, he will, like, no. you know, casually open the floor up and climb back down into the abyss instead of, you know, being dismissed down there. Yeah, no, theory will just let him go. Okay. Bye. And she'll just like nice sit down you. on the bed and feel sad for a while. Aww. Aww. My daddy's really dead. <laughs> sad ruse. It's sad ruse. Yeah, and he did say his dad is probably dead too. In a pure act of love to save your mother. Yep. Speaking of. It is the story that she told you, and it would seem a true one. Your mother in the last gasps of death was restored by your father, destroying his own essence and giving it to her. Damn it, why did she have to not lie? What else did she not she doesn't lie like, about? She doesn't like to lie to her family. She loves them. I, I'm sure she does, but Theory wanted to I don't know that she's ever... Yeah, I don't think that she's ever told a single lie to you. Not once. Theory wanted it to be a lie very badly, though. Yeah. yeah, but now you have to think, what else didn't she lie about? What else is actually true that she told you? I mean, nothing being true will change Theory's opinions about her, but... Yeah. Like, she's still a murderer. Yeah. It's not okay. I, also, again, still love that none of you have ever asked the circumstances. I mean, I, I think Theory's too upset about it to ask. Like, yeah. she wouldn't want to. Just like, well, well, yeah, no, obviously, it's uh, part of your uh, Hagenite schizophrenia. Shut and up. And none of us have the other reason to really ask it, either. Yep. Alright, uh, well... I mean, yeah. Did we want to know about her, uh, her dad, in this case, though? Is your dad a demon, or is it just charming, well, or 
someone like... No, it's not charming. She's only been there 15 years and this 20. Okay, well, whoever came before charming. But I just asked there in the... Uh, let's see here. The previous husband. They don't remember. None of them do. Huh. Weird. Uh, Charming will announce that she'd heard the person was a relatively handsome human man, but her wives can never remember who their last husband was. Never have been able to, as far back as memory. That sucks. Yes. Although it probably spares them a lot of heartbreak, considering what they have is a very genuine romance amongst all of them. It's probably a bit of a blessing that they can't remember all of these, like, an eternity of lost romances. They get to fall in love every time. Fair enough. Or at least that's how Charming makes herself feel less bad about it. Yeah. Yeah. The prisoners are escorted back to Overland Keep. Tazarin goes off to go do Tazarin things. Uh, Partway into your journey back, you would have come across the uh, magical menagerie on its way through. Uh, Oh! Do they have more things? Uh, let's see here. They made their stop off at the Freelands, which means they probably have a couple bits and pieces, but they haven't been traveling for long since you saw them. You caught them on this leg of the journey, correct? In that direction? I think three weeks of, uh, craft checks, uh... uh, It's true, you have got, uh, craftings you can trade off, if you would like to try and sell more things. Um, I have all these little knit- I have these little wood carvings to give out. Yay. Yeah, he will happily accept those. Uh, as usual, like last time when he uh, committed this trade with you, he uh, kept the nicest one for his collection. Let's see, what do I have in stock? How long have we been traveling back? Back to... It has been three weeks since like you last... Well, actually, it might be even longer than that. Since you last not, saw him. I don't, I don't think I'm going to roll... I'm not I mean, you, roll, I've seen like, you roll in checks in the past before. Have you still got any of those recorded? Uh, yeah, I actually have a I have a 27 that I haven't assigned to any kind of specific object. Sure, maybe all right. Big, maybe you're working on a big thing? Entirely possible. However, I think that she needs to complete a project every day. I thought it just said work on a project. It's work on something. Oh, then, yeah, it could have been one large thing if you would like that to be the case. I also or alternatively have things. a single, I have a single natural one that could be interesting. Uh, in the case of crafting nat ones, usually just mean the thing is broken, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. A two would be interesting because it didn't break, but it's next level shitty. But no, a one is actually just a broken object. I'll just leave that. I got to be a macho man. Why did this song come on my Pandora? It's so confusing. Macho, macho man. This is on the Ninja Sex Party uh, playlist for some reason. It yeah, sounds makes like sense. It makes sense. Alright. Um, are we back at Overland Keep yet? We're just doing the quick. All right. Oh, right. I forgot about uh, that. Yeah, you make 175 gold, and your name will continue to spread. Oh, cool. That's 21 days worth of like. Look, that was like the, all of the downtime when I would like look, compulsively craft some. Yeah, That's right. it seems like a good enough just use of the number. Oh, that, was da- that was actually done while I was learning how to expert wood crafting. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, wait, what's your modifier now? My modifier for woodcrafting is 12. Okay. So, like, at <laughs> least half of... Wait, uh, wait. all 21 of those would have been made at your old score, though. Would have been the old one. So, what was that? Eight. Those all, all also weren't... All, those weren't advantage rolls, so... Hmm. Alright. You actually made a damn sight more than that. It's a lot of gold. Uh, and yeah, uh, when you also hand it all over, um, and he pays you up, he gives you what appears to be a writ. <gasps> What's this? Huh? I'll turn it upside down. I'll smell it. Yep. Hmm. It's a piece of paper saying that someone would like to commission a work from you. <gasps> someone wants me to make something? Yeah, specifically. 
Uh, what's it saying? Uh, oh no! There is a Baron in first holding who has been looking for an artist. Uh, and while he wasn't even in first oh, holding, he was quite far away from first holding when the writ came through to him. Uh, possibly in the hopes of catching you in your journeys. Because so far he has only ever met you as far as like the like around here and then up here. So it's like that's where their reputation for you is located primarily. Like the areas mm. where you are found. Um but yeah, uh, it appears that someone would like for themselves, uh, they have a painting, a painting of a being from the central forests, and they would love them sculpted into a statue. Ooh. Mm. That sounds like fun. I want to do it. They are happy How big to a provide, statue? they are happy to, uh, it would be five foot eight, and they are happy to provide the wood, which is local wood from the area. Oh, I get to carve a big thing. Mm-hmm. Carve little small things. This sounds like fun. Actually, I made a one big thing once. I made a ballista once. That was cool. For your smirk and amusement. Well, he, he, gives, he gives you the impression that he is smirking and amusement. Their face has never changed, but you know, you know what that means. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to record that somewhere, uh, there is a uh, some kind of lord or noble in uh, first holding who would like to commission you from a for a statue all, from the Central Lens. All caps. Quest. First holding carving. Yep. Oh, I would have imagined something Anna in that one on to be a, an exquisite but possessed by malevolent entity. Yeah, that's, <laughs> no, that's, that sounds like, one, legit. Ones on, ones on crafts are just broken, I'm afraid. First holding. Hey, we're going through there anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. sometime we'll eventually that get to this the actual right. half of the country, or this part of the country. Yeah, yeah it's true. You guys have ne you guys have never this, successfully this, made it that far. This is this the like line, the, the cutoff line that you've never crossed. Exactly. Well, there's so much crazy bullshit. New crazy bullshit. Oh my god. There's the pixie boule boule riders. Yep. Oh, that so cool. It's a good good place to be. Yeah, we should totally just, we should totally go this way next and go around. Yep. I want to see what this thing is. The Eldritch Isle. Yeah, the Eldritch Isle. But yeah, I believe with that, we're going to call this session to a close, my lovely dears. Aww. Yeah. yeah. I mean, congratulations okay. on fucking crushing it on that encounter. Did you get Did that you thing go? I sent you, very, by the way. Very limited. Uh, the Whisper, yes. Very cool. I take it you've passed it along. I want to just give it to you. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. But yeah, any other questions, things you'd like to say, do, whatever? No, I think we're good. We got a all new right token then. to put in. Yep, we'll organize all that before the next session. If yep. you're watching in the stream then, or you're watching in the VOD, I of course as usual hope that you have yourselves a lovely motherfucking good time, and please do take care. Bye stream! <laughs>